All right, let me know when we're up. Yep, we're live. We're live, right? All right, good evening. Back in studio. It's been a while. It's been over a week, I think. Yeah, it's been well over a week, I think. I'm here. Uh, Gus is here. Coleman's here. Mike is here. Tim Riggles is here. I can promote this fucking documentary I don't care about. So <laughs> suffer through that for a bit, and then we'll do the show. Oh. What? What's the documentary? There's some documentary about some guy who overdosed and died on drugs recently or something. Isn't that right or no? no. Am I wrong? Yeah, I saw some guy. That's exactly, you nailed it. It's like taking a shower in the river or something, and then he did heroin. Do I have it about right? Sounds interesting. That's not exactly it. My, but... how, is it really that far off? No. <laughs> Walk us through the documentary because we're all here to promote your documentary. That's why I'm here. That's what the listeners want to listen to and the viewers want to see. Well, uh, congratulations, by the way. So, Big Cat's in it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, he was very generous to give us uh, some time. Uh, asked us if we could be there set up for him when he showed up. And Asked uh, what? If we could just be set up and waiting for him. So He's a very busy man. Yeah. Certainly. Yes. Where'd you do it? In New York? Or? No, we went to Wheeling. Um, oh, for Rough and Rowdy. Oh, Rough and Rowdy. This is a Rough and Rowdy fighter. Yeah. Okay. Um, Shane, she's at the Rosette Reed. Um, was he in the studio this time? One of these times or no? Was he was one of the guys we saw? No. Oh, okay. no. No, but he's no? kind of like, you know. Is he one of the brothers I like? He's not one of those guys, right? No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Documentary about those guys. I'd watch that. <laughs> but he's, you know, he got arrested at one of the fights and like they kind of got him out. But so he had what's called a loser leave town match um, okay. and he lost. And mm -hmm. so he was town? extremely emotional in the ring. You know, rough and rowdy help change and save my life and so portnoy gets on tell him fuck that we're not changing you know he he's good like we're we'll break that rule that rule's done like keep okay. him in uh my wife was extremely emotional watching it um it sp spoke to us in a way uh to be perfectly honest in the last couple of years i haven't had much creative yada yada we doing know. stuff on the network trust me we, I, just, yeah, yeah, it's, we, we, it's we've seen it in shit yeah, so sad it yeah. kind of made a spark and <clears throat> good we just wanted to do something good so uh uh so it's about this guy he's a former drug addict he had problems i mean yes. he's from basically the area where the opioid epidemic hit first in west virginia hardest. itself uh he's from tennessee but yeah, yeah, in yeah. the same yeah. so he's well, living, i've driven through some of those towns there it's a tough scene He's in extremely southern Tennessee, about two and a half hours from Atlanta. What does he do for a living? He works as a flagger on a, co a construction site okay. um, for a natural gas pipeline. Okay. But so basically he gets up and runs and trains. He lives in a camper that's less than the size of this fucking room. Yeah. Uh, he gets up, trains, runs, goes and works on a flagging job on a dirty, dusty fucking road. Nice. Then he gets out and goes and trains for boxing. Okay. Um, cool. After beating basically what I would consider incredible odds i mean he's just the forgotten america they're just garbage people where do i get this where, where can i see this you can see it on youtube youtube year of the rat 2024 uh, r-a-t 2024 yes sir year of the rat 2024 and instagram year of the rat 2024 okay uh and then once i get the tiktok set up we'll roll that up excellent um is portnoy in it or no no dave came later and we didn't really want to push it yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, so yeah. It, it's very nice of Dan. It was very, very nice. It's just Shizette's life has been filled with addiction, uh, mental illness, mm -hmm. uh, working your fucking dick off every fucking day and not having a goddamn fucking thing to show for it, mm -hmm. period. Like Mike, yeah. And sure. they don't live in cities. No one fucking cares about them. They're nothing. And it just, it's a story that should have been told already. I'm very happy to be telling it. How long is it? Uh, we're, we've got about 75, 80% of a feature shot. We want to get okay. a feature length. Like oh, I got you. Okay. 50 minutes is considered feature. Right. Um, so we want to get to 51. We're very close. Good. Uh, and when we do the next component, um, I, 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 I needed to build a house. Okay. I don't know how to build a house. I know a house needs a foundation and walls and a roof. Uh -huh. I know people that are good at building those things. And I got them to help me because they cared in the project too. And that's just, that's where we're at. Okay, good. Excellent. Thank so you. Year of, nope, many times. Thank Two, you. I will mention again later. 2024 year of the rat, R-A-T. Did Big Cat make you and your wife make a sex tape for him to be in the movie? Is that a requirement? <laughs> no, I have. I uh, was spinning the whole time. I was <laughs> <laughs> looking for something. <laughs> I don't know why it's so grim. I'm trying to lighten the mood. <laughs> that's a very sad story. I, I wasn't listening either. It makes you feel better. <laughs> 
Uh, year of the RAT 2024. Well, boy, I'll tell you what. I, mean, I spent a lot of time with Big Cat. Jesus, God Almighty. Oh, yes. Last week. I can Fucking, imagine. Holy hell. Big Cat. We were all locked in, all 14 of us. Uh, uh, it's surviving bars, which I can't, I really can't speak much about. I don't even know what I can and can't say. How's morale at this point? I won. I mean, can I oh, say that? Or, yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, can I say that? I don't think not? that spoils yeah. too much. No, it's no, about no, the journey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, yeah, it's fine. Who cares who wins? It's more about the fight. <laughs> yeah. I will not say who won. I will not say who lost. Um, like I said, I, I developed new friends, real friends, brothers, and real enemies will emerge. That's all I can say. Can I tell you th- something I think you uh, unknowingly gave away? Go ahead. And I'll tell you, correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. You said to Portnoy when he was on, you were like, oh, this will be the last time I see you for a while, or however you phrased it. Yeah. It seemed to me like Portnoy was on his way out, which would indicate. No, no even if you were out at that point. Oh, okay. Even if you were out, you had to be there for voting and for challenges. And all everything. right. So everyone right. was there. I saw people tweeting me, oh, you did the show in the afternoon one time. And none of that mattered. We were just looking for... Open times. Yeah, and I was right. so tired. I didn't want to do it late at night again. I was done. So, um, no, 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 nope, nope. Damn, I saw Dave. I that would have been Thursday, that show? Well, I thought Wednesday. Wednesday? Yeah, yeah, no, no. I saw Dave uh, next two days, or at least till Thursday. Whenever we were done. Thursday night, I think we wrapped. So, nope. no, no, Dave was certainly there. Did you see Oppenheimer with Jeff Dilo? I did not. I was too tired. I had dinner with Jeff Dilo after wrapped. Uh, I feel for him. I, know. I was rooting for he him. He wanted it back. Yeah. <laughs> he kept pushing again. I was like, I'm done, man. I cannot. I'll fall asleep. Um, nope. I had dinner with Jeff uh, that night. Um, and yeah, yeah, that was it. Enrico was going to join us, but he had to stream something as well. So yeah, I mean, it was, is I cannot sell how crazy it was. It'll be, it's going to definitely deliver. It is going to definitely deliver. I can promise Excellent. people that. Jeff uh, is uh, dwarfing John Rich and Steve units by my calculations. John Rich is a zero. <laughs> you don't like him now? No, I don't like him anymore. Really? Why? Yeah, because I don't like, well, why? I know he's like a fellow, like, oh, wait, I'm so stoned. Like, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> fellow? Guy? Like, did fellow. You, his, you looked yeah. at me when you said fellow. <laughs> I was looking, yes, of course I was looking at you. <laughs> did you see his blog tonight, the dumping them out? Yeah, as yeah. boring as he was been. Like, he's, like, he's a nobody. He has no right to come into the studio inebriated. Like, I have no, I have no patience for John. Mike knows. Sure. I have no, it's like, I don't find it funny. That's what people are like, oh, it was the funniest thing ever. I'm like, what's funny? But he came in and didn't say anything. What's, I, what's funny about that? I didn't that? get the feeling he was like fucked up, though. He said he was, he was drinking. He, yeah. You're right. But he didn't see, he wasn't slurring he his three words. drinks. He, he was fucking out of it. He, I don't, I don't, like, I run a show. It's not like, oh, we're hanging out at sleepover time. Like, here comes John Rich, that cocks. Like, I have no, <laughs> I have no, pa- no patience. None. Zero. I hate him. Wow. Yeah, none. I hate shit like that. Like, I, I take, I take the, I happen to take the show seriously. Why did you have him produce the next day? Because I need somebody to produce during the day. <laughs> <laughs> Needed bodies. I want to be done. I want to be not. I didn't know he was retarded. I thought he'd be able to fucking work a mic. You know, well, I don't know. You have two fairly prominent personalities doing a show together. I, I thought you could at least have the mics work. Uh, you, uh, Portnoy sounded pristine. And Dave sounded I don't good. I know who he was yeah, talking to. Were sure, you on that company. Episode? It's a good move. Uh, oh, go away. Just go away. Stop talking about you want the job. Like, I don't. I would have never hired you anyway. You suck. Like, go away. Oh, this is. Go sit there next to Clemmer and blog all day. It's two idiots. I don't need it in my life, you know? A Clemmer telling me, you know, during the thing, like, you know, trying to congratulate me things are good. Like, leave me alone. I'm just trying to win my money. Shut up. <laughs> Idiot. It's like, if 70 people have to die before you got in this thing. Did Clemmer do uh, Carson for you or anything? While you no, were no, no. <laughs> it's no, disappointing. Yeah, no, it's weird. No, and, then when, and then if there's like somebody like Rhea or Fran and, and, and Clemmer's around, like, you know, he's, he's like, does it go near me? <gasps> He's yeah, been, right. Like, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't ladies, like him either. I don't know how he got here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I don't like him either. It's like, oh, okay. Like that whole stupid thing. Like, oh, oh, God. Get away from me, dork. Yeah. Do you feel it? Like, do you feel it, like, as far as, like, the eyes burning into your back? Like, it's not that bad anymore because everybody, generally everybody there likes me. All the important There's not a lot of prominent people. Beasts, all the important people. As I they always like, have. Like, as they know. always have. Yeah. Kevin and, and, and Dave and Dan and... You know, whoever, but Whitney and Riggs. Did you say Kevin? Kevin. When you said new enemies, I felt like someone, you, hot, you know, under the collar on these shows, might have come to town, and Kevin's the new boss of New York, and there might have been a little bit of a... Uh, uh, you know, yeah, flop he really there. runs that place with oh, that. Yeah, crazy. <laughs> an iron yep. fist, that crazy. guy. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 had, I, had, I had movie nights with Kevin and, and Philo Berg in the I KFC heard that was studio. A, a tough experience, though, with KFC. 
What's that? During the the movie Bottoms, he was oh, getting sad. up, and, falling asleep, yeah. all nervous, turning the all worried about the lights. I was like, Kevin, just fucking sh- relax, you idiot. Feilerberg, happy as can be the whole time, nicest guy in the world. Uh, no, 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 I, I, I had, no, I, I had, I enjoyed the experience way more than I thought I would. I'm still tired, honestly. Still two days later, I'm cooked, but um, um, I enjoyed it. I would do it again, like. Ooh. I don't think they can do an All Star one again next year. I think it's gonna be too. I think it. I think Dave's right about that. That it kind of loses if you keep doing it over and over again. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you get um, to physically leave and go outside? No, it's the whole thing, isn't it? No, you don't. You you didn't go out at all. Do you know what this? If you watch this, come. I, I understand. understand you're busy oh, right no, now. I've, I've, he, does, he doesn't. Of course, he could leave at night and sleep in a hotel, and then he comes back in the morning. So it's like Survivor. <laughs> but like, you can't go. Get I understand a you're fucking following star- some guy you flagging a, something. You can't go get to, a Starbucks when you're done shooting. This there is, a guy is no who spent a night in just his car, just, by the way. Uh, <laughs> you can't wrap your mind do you around it. Do you understand how this works? Have you been paying <laughs> I, attention? I do, and I've watched the show. Do you think it's a times. fake or something? I figured there was some of that built in. Like, would be lying to the audience? Like, if fucking. What, what if, some, like, if fucking Dave Portnoy gets a call in the middle of a fucking reality show that he's doing, like, he has to do something real? He can't just, like, step up. Then outside. he goes outside, and then somebody sees him, and then the whole thing is. Then we're lying to the audience. Right. Okay, that's all I was asking. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I wouldn't. I would not do okay. that. Okay. No chance. No. 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 That's There's a great no, answer. No. No. There is. I don't want to. Man, Jeff may get upset at me. When you for a couple of the challenges we did, we did in that shoe store. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about yep. that's next door to it. So you actually do walk outside as a whole unit for about four steps, and you go in there. Okay. So you do see sunlight for about ten seconds. Okay. Jeez. My buddy PFT and I were joking about that. PFT stock, by the way. Forgetting whether or not he fucked me over in the game as a person, way up. Okay. Yeah, just a genuinely nice guy. Like I was I, between the Ryder Cup and this, I will say I was wrong about him. His brother's obviously an idiot, but I do like him. Can you say this? Will the new enemies uh, break our hearts in a way? Is it someone we like? I can't say. I can't say anything. Can't say that. Damn. I can't say anything. Damn. No. The PFT stock up. Just a very nice guy. He, Super was, guy. Yeah, was well, I mean, he could have fucked me over in the game. Like I, it's a game, so I, I wouldn't get worked about that. But very nice guy. Good. Good week. I will say it was a. Highly competitive week, and I did have my moments of people I think will like. I, I don't know. I hope so. We'll see how it's, it comes out in the edit. Comes Outs- out in the wash. Outside of actually filming, was there any interactions with people that weren't participating in the show that you either enjoyed or... I wouldn't say enjoyed or, or didn't, or didn't or, enjoy. Or specifically didn't uh, enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> no, everybody was fine. Let me think. Um, always nice to see Trent. Sure. Um, there weren't, like, Clemmer's there. It was fine seeing Clemmer. Clemmer's taking, t- Clemmer's taking the competition very seriously. Oh, good. Very seriously. Um, no, I, everyone there is fine. It's a, yeah. it's a, the, the office is way more upbeat now. So um, I spent way more time on, on the third floor than I ever have. So that was interesting. <laughs> my run, uh, runs up there. So, yeah, I, I enjoy it. it, was a, it I mean, it's, it's hard because you can't say anything about it. So I'll just say it whenever it comes out in a month or so, which I do understand. I'm like the golf thing. I mean, there's like thousands of hours of well, footage that, of that's people what, plotting yeah. and talking and running and hiding. And like, it's just endless. Like, I also think a month is way more reasonable than everyone talking about it in July and it coming right. out in September. Or whatever. That's a couple months. Right. Though so that paid off too. So, you know, I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm looking forward to it. So, and then we all go to Chicago for the finale in, I think it's in Chicago, in the new building in December, I think. Maybe. Is a, is a, is a, we'll all be there for that. For Very the reunion and. I will say there is, there are people right now who hate each other, yes. who didn't hate wow. each other before, or maybe hate each other before, but now it's the truth is out. Yes, that's and good. I may have played a role yes. in that. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> yes. I'll say that. I'll say that's that. Exci- that's yeah. gonna be maybe. I guess I don't know who the the shows are, so maybe for them it'll be easy. But I would think that would be difficult to hide for a month if it's like real hatred, you know? Yeah, it'll be interesting to see too because you know. It'll be episode by episode when it's on, and then people will be reacting to that on their right. form. So I, I was thinking when I left, I thought, well, the balloon's kind of popped now. Like, but then I was like, you know, it'll get built up again. Would you even be able to do that in the sense of like, if you, if it became a K Marco level rivalry or something? I'd be hard. I will say, <laughs> I, 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 you would do that. I, I could tell you right now, I am struggling with it. I'll just say that. Oh, okay. Yeah, struggling right. with it. But I would, I always think of Dave and Jeff. Yeah. Like, it's Portnoy's money, it's his company, and Jeff is so involved, you know. Why is Jeff so invested in this? He's, produ- it- he's producing it, basically, too, and okay. he's hosting it, yeah. Because so- Kevin hosted originally, yeah. didn't he? Yeah, but he's also high, much more involved in the production. Kevin's an idiot. Got it. Yeah, as he, you know, as he would say. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there you go. 
So, um, yeah. So there you go. So we'll keep teasing it, whatever. But I can't say. I just can't say anything about it. I'd like to. Well, uh, what are you texting about, Gus? Oh no, I just texting Josh. He's boy. That microphone sounds really good. <laughs> yeah, it's. I'm trying. What the fuck is that microphone? It's. This is one of the other ones that we're trying to have at least the way. So Coleman has. It sounds his own terrible. Mic. It sounds right, absolutely I can, terrible. I, I will switch it out for a new Shut one. Shut that one off. It sounds, gonna, do you have a different one or no? Yeah. Jeez. Am I wrong or no? Mike, am I wrong? No, he does. He said it sounded off. It sounded like he was in a different. Jesus Christ. Like he was zooming in or something. He's texting. Who is Josh? Intern the, Josh. Uh, intern. Gus about to talk into the empty spot. With the <laughs> <laughs> this thing on? Jesus. <laughs> Who's Josh? Oh, our stupid intern? Yes. Oh, I'm sure he's killing it. Yeah. What has he done so far? <laughs> Jay, not, no, as much as these guys the last week. Has he listened to any 0. shows? <laughs> Can we confirm that? No, I would think he Why would he? Why, who needs that? I would he got him not. the job, I no. guess. Yeah. I mean, if you work at whatever... <laughs> You work, you work for, what, I don't know, the company makes devil dogs. You don't have to eat them. <laughs> you know? True, I suppose. It doesn't matter. But your secretary there doesn't matter. That's fair. Get the papers in front of you and you do your job. Yeah. Oh, he might be a really good po- I I was on that Mike and the Men fans with him recently. He might be a really good poker player. You just can't you read him at all. Like, there's, he doesn't change. It's probably why he can't close on dates either. Yeah. It's just <laughs> True. Looking at him is just like, I don't know if I could read this person. What? Maybe he's a mastermind. Maybe he's framing Karen Reed for that whole thing. I have no idea. <laughs> he's going to be sitting there. Laying in wait until <laughs> Augustus yeah. implodes. Oh, Karen. Yeah. He's framing Karen Reed. <laughs> God. <laughs> Is Turtle Boy out of the, out of the clink yet or no? Uh, I believe so. Out of the, out of the, I talked to him. Show. I did talk to him, yeah. He, he, we talked early that next day. Um, so I didn't really get a chance to react to it because I was in New York. It was just weird. You know, it's, a weird it's such a weird story. Yes. Uh, I, definitely want, I definitely want to defend him. Like, if they're fucking him, it's insane if they're fucking him. Yeah. Over. It's wild. And, you know, like, I'm sure he's doing his best job he can. And I know, like, doing the thing even with Mailer, like, there are definitely times where if you can get help from somebody who is in a position of authority, you're going to do it. So if that's if the charges I saw in court that day, are the biggest charges against him, unless more comes out that I don't know about, that felt like a complete nothing to me. Like it's nothing. That seems so. I don't know enough about the case. But also, to really... before I forget, Mike, like, why would the police be that obvious? And, that you know, that's exactly what yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. It's like that seems so obvious. Like they wouldn't do it just because it's so glaringly. But these obvious. are stupid people. Sometimes that's yeah. a thing, and they're desperate. I don't know. All I know is if this is if what I saw, the evidence against him. If there's more, fine. We'll see. I'm open to anything. But if this is the evidence against him. Get the fuck out of here with that. Like I don't know. They're going to go through his computer. I have no idea. I'm sure he took shortcuts. I'm sure he took risks. God knows I would have too. Um, and by the way. Like, I might be trying to agree with him about Karen Reed, if I'm being totally honest. Like, I just don't know. I've seen, it's one of those classic, like, he did, at first he didn't think Sandra Birchmore uh, uh, was killed. Now he does. So, I'm, I'm, I, I need, but it's all irrelevant. Like, it's, I'll also say this, if he gets through it all, it's great for his career. Oh, yeah. Unbelievable. He's, a, mean, he's a martyr. Yeah. yeah. They had the Fox News article today, I believe, um, come out just documenting the, the whole process of it. Yeah, I read that. So I don't know. Like I said, he's been great Has to me. Has that gotten like national? I mean, I know yeah. Fox News, but like I mean, that's general. what I mean by Fox News. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, right. yeah. I'd yeah. consider that. Yeah, first something. time. It's been very local. They fucking covered yeah. it more. They ignored him while they were taking his stuff. What What are you doing? I'm trying to see if this mic sounds any bit better. No, it doesn't sound any bit better. No. It sounds just as bit stupid. <laughs> and all I hear is you fucking moving that microphone around. Jesus Christ. I anyway. thought at some point someone would show up. Stick a fucking gun in his mouth and be like, Ooh, Augustus, I'm all for it. <laughs> yeah. No, Turtle Boy, like, I, I mean, really in real life when you're fucking with He would report like, that, though. He would, he would. Yeah, exactly. Would, so, like, some, like, if this was a different day and age, I feel like someone would have showed up and been like, well, Yeah. You, you're going to stop this? Maybe. So, this is their way of doing it. But I guess, but but dude, they but they gave him enough room. He doesn't have to stop doing it. Though. If they can go through all of his shit, though, there might be some gnarly shit on. For this. sure, yeah, I, I'm sure he will. He'll tell you that. Like, I don't think you know. Like I said, he had my back with Murchison, so I'll always have his back. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's a, it was wild. I was in New York, and guys are coming up to me like because I didn't have my phone. When we were doing stuff. You see, hear about Turtle Boy, and I was like, what? and they got arrested. I was like, oh shit. And I, I was like, this isn't good. It's the usual stages. At first, like, oh, he's fucked. And then you kind of pay attention. And you see what the charges are. You're like, oh, well, that doesn't seem that bad to me. Yeah. Again, I could be totally, I don't know. I, I, it doesn't seem like that, you know. And, like, he's just, you know, I don't know. Again, it look, makes them look terrible. So fucking bad. If this so is all they bad. have. Now, again, if they have more, great. But this, right now, does not look like anything to me. No, it's, I mean, it's, again, knowing very little about the case, it seemed wild because it was so obvious 
I was like, they, they wouldn't do that. No. Because everyone's going to think right. they're just fucking with this guy. Right. That's the only thing that gives me any pause at all. Yeah. But, but I've dealt, having dealt with these guys and more of those, a lot of those same guys in season two, like some, some good guys in there, but there's some fucking dummies too. So I, you know, I don't know. We shall see, but we'll keep on. I think he's like, we may get him on this week at some point too. Oh. I think he's allowed to call like one hour a day from his, uh, from his cell. <laughs> Would you have <laughs> rather. Yard time. Yeah, for... I saw his uh, journalism. Jesus is his, uh, on his Twitter bio. Did yeah. you see that? Yes. Yeah. That's been for some time. I thought you, yeah. yeah, I thought you had known about that. No. That's, that's jailbird. Wild. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Good God. What are you saying, Mike? Would you rather for the, uh, you know, whatever you call it, for the publicity, mm -hmm. you get arrested? No. Or would you have, or, 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 or Cullinan? <laughs> I was going to ask. Cullinan would be fine. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you going get arrested for that fucking phone scam anyway. He's trying to pull on Barstool. He's probably doing 30 different companies. <laughs> Jesus, what a fucking idiot he is. <laughs> you fucking moron. But let me just wrap it on Turtle Boy. Like, yeah. I hope, I, again, I, I, you have my back big time with Murchison, so. Uh, until somebody proves me wrong, I get his back on this one because this seems crazy to me. But yet, the cloning thing is nuts. Like I, I, I walked understand in, to I, an extent. I told the story the other day that my mic wasn't really working. Or maybe it was. I remember what show it was. It was so tired. When we do the poll for best show of the week five days from now, maybe people can vote for, the, for Sunday's episode. <laughs> Stop well, doing those. Nice. Yeah, Jesus Cut him out. Best he's, episode of the he's week. He's learning. Yeah, anyway. Cut that one out. Um, I walked in there to Erica. She was doing some finance guys. I just wanted to make sure I was the Sacco and... Plymouth stuff was all set from a payment perspective. And Jesus Christ. Do you, do you know the microphones make sounds? <laughs> I'm trying to be as quiet as I can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding me? They don't pick up his voice, apparently. No. <laughs> uh, and I said, oh, I said, oh, you hired Jack Coleman? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she said, oh, you heard about the phone bill? I said, the phone bill for Jack Coleman? I was very baffled. And she said, no, Colony has a $3,000 phone bill. <laughs> Which is totally something he did. So when he didn't have a job, it's almost, he's almost looking. I've been I've done this almost like free money. Oh, like he's yes. getting a free three thousand dollars. I understand that feeling. It's a great move. Yeah. Most people do it in the twenty, <laughs> yeah. but it's a yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. A, it's like for him like he probably hasn't told anybody he doesn't have a job yet even. So like buys him another month <laughs> yeah. in his mind. I think another paycheck. That's smart if he was thinking ahead like bird that. in hand. I mean, <laughs> I mean I guess you in the bush. It's, it's literally net zero. But yeah, I suppose. I mean, he paid three thousand dollars to get three thousand dollars back. So I can relate to the. I, would he even have to talk to you about it, or could he have just? been billing barstool this whole time definitely he should have told me and i was said i'd just pay for it i don't care. i get the feeling of being like i'm not gonna bother them or whatever but it would be like if today i decide like i'm just gonna send you guys a bill for my uber rides right or something. <laughs> like, which would be fine if we set it up i don't well, care that's what i'm saying is you yeah. said that before but now like i've always said nah, it's fine and then one day i'm just like yeah no it's four thousand thousand right? dollars <laughs> well, so, i mean he could have said it was a million dollars i don't even know and eric was like we'll just pay it i was like well great it comes out of my like uh, uh, it's classic colony just like you know but kind of like you get where he's coming from, but also yes. kind of shady though. Like just <laughs> everything is, I don't know. That's where I say, I, I don't think he means he's not, I don't think he's a like purposely shady, a devious guy. I think he, he just doesn't handle himself well. <laughs> he's kind of removed himself from the show though, which I get. I mean, I think you have to do that. It's the hits. Good to basically. take a break. There is a Locked part to Cullinane where he could have completely forgotten about it. Not every month. Right. No, no chance. Uh, that's true. And how did he, he remembered the week he left the show? Well, if it's an automatic payment, you know, and it's like. Do you just suddenly remember right when he left the show? Oh, yeah, that doesn't seem no, like I mean, great timing. It's fine, Kurt. He should, he should get. <laughs> okay, Kurt. It's also like, like he should timing. be compensated for it. I, yeah. I don't have a problem with that, but like there is a way to do it. I it's mean, also a balance that you would see every single day taking calls. Of course. Like, I feel like you would constantly kind of get reminded about it. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. Who knows? Well, some fucking some send to Israel. Leave me alone. <laughs> Coleman, start the phones now. Rack up that bill for whenever you leave. We got yeah. <laughs> the Chicklets guys in here on Tuesday going to use my phones, right? Yeah, they're coming. What's that sound? Everyone be quiet. You hear that? Yeah. Air. What <laughs> is that? I think it's the air. Air. Okay. Anyway. The church is banging earlier. earlier. It is. Yeah. I know it. The Chicklets guys are here on Tuesday? Yes. Afternoon. Four o'clock. Taking it's calls. Uh, I don't think. That's what Grinelli told me, no? I didn't so they, think they were going to be taking well, calls. He told me he wanted to take calls, he said. I guess if we, I, thought, I thought, I don't know. I was running around. It was yeah, during no. the surviving I, thing. From what I understood, I thought they were just going to be recording a normal episode, oh, not okay. even using a lot of this stuff, just kind of the cams oh, okay. and stuff like that. Well, good. But, you know, I'll be here. Who to gets this seat, I wonder? But, yeah, it feels like biz. I don't want RA in this. I'm not kidding. I don't want RA. In this. I'll make sure of that. That feels like biz. <laughs> like a fucking needle. You can yeah, put I don't the want needle that. Right. Just make sure he's not in this seat. I think yeah. ceremonially it should be Whitney. Whit yeah, yeah, it should be Whitney can sit here if he wants. Yeah. That, I mean, that's a yeah. That's that's fine. 
So they're here Tuesday. Yes. Okay. We'll be here that morning mm -hmm. with John Peltier. Uh, we've reached out. Just oh waiting my confirmation. God. Stop. Fucking stop. That one's the worst, worst. one. Yeah. Yeah. Just if you need to talk, talk into this one. What the fuck? Oh, there goes the buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> Should Gus just be in Dave's room where he call him when yeah. Yeah. Gus? <laughs> in Dave's room. <laughs> Peltier is here Tuesday. Peltier, whatever his name is. Yeah, if you're okay with that. That's fine. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, with Mike, I guess. Oh. No, Whitney. I, mean, I thought maybe we'd get Whitney because be, he has to do something that yeah. morning. So. Okay. Uh, all right. So you get to work with John Peltier, Mike. It's exciting. Peltier? I don't think I've ever been in here with him. Is that true? I don't think so. Okay. He'll be here. That whole thing lasted two weeks or whatever it was before. Now he's back. Yes. <laughs> Fucking unbelievable. His strike. He's, he's, he's gotten off of his strike. What is going on with this show Twitter account? Yeah. Why does it suck so bad? It's been tough. It's been a tough one. Well, That's I mean. That's not really a great answer. Well, I mean, right off, right off rip. What are you I, smiling at, Augustus? Right off what? Right I'm off rip? What is right that? off rip. Right off the top, basically. Right off rip. Who's rip? The guy it's from like, Yellowstone? <laughs> no, right off the rip. Hamilton? Right off the rip. My first rip. R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. Dad, you're saying? Yes. Okay, I would agree. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Did you find an apartment? No, looking, doing okay. well. We're, we're making progress. Where are you staying right now? Just friends still. It's growing out? Not even ripping growing. Ripping it or? Not okay. even. <laughs> no ripping? No ripping. All right. Where? Not where, even growing out, Where are you though. staying? Uh, currently South, South Boston currently. Okay. It's, it's not great though. There was a mouse running around last night. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Amazingly, I did not see a single rodent in the entire time. At oh, that's Park nice. Quarter. I was stunned by that. I had good. always heard about well, that. Well, there was a, blue, uh, there was a rat running around, but that's <laughs> in the competition. Did we talk about Rico Bosco? No, he's not a rat. We talked about Rico Bosco listening to the Rent soundtrack. Yes. Yes. I think so. Yes. Yeah. He goes falls asleep to it, right? Yeah, he loves it. Yeah. He loves well, without it. Without earbuds. Without earbuds. That's People stay in the room with him. <laughs> That's an issue. Five hundred twenty. Oh, he loves it. Thousand. He's a showman. It's like John Sterling. I mean, he is occasionally John yes. Sterling. Yes, he? Yeah, he knows yeah. John Sterling yeah, very well. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have a rat in the or a mouse in the apartment you're staying? Yeah, it's skirting around. I'd wake up like every half hour and just see it right below me. Oh. It's brutal. It's it's not great right now. I saw you tweeting about places you looked at. Yeah. How many places did you look at? I think I'm at six Jesus. currently. Wait, um, where, where do we look? Um somewhere in why don't you, why don't you use Colonnade? He's yeah. in the real oh, estate business. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm doing my thing. Okay. Broke your fees. I don't want to worry about That's all true. that. That's true. Those will be high. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm looking, actually, a couple were right around here. Okay. Uh, one in Watertown. Yeah. One in... Uh, S singles? Yes. Okay. Single studio. Um, I like that. Yeah. I, I'd ideally like to be close to the studio, I sure. think. Just to be able to bounce back and forth and kind of, mm -hmm. you know... If what I, about if one of these out. other rooms? That's true. Stay in there? There's no, there's no shower or anything here. Running water, I don't eh. think. But yeah, that's if fine. The, if there was a shower, I'd maybe consider it, honestly. Okay. The, the mouse... I don't think we're doing that. The mouse yeah. last night was tough. Can I tell you something troubling we learned? I, is there a revealed? shower in here somewhere? Or no, I don't even know. I don't think so. In this in this particular building, studio? No. Maybe? In the building, maybe. There's one thing that's just freaking whack her face on that. <laughs> there's <laughs> one <laughs> thing in the bath in the bathroom that shows where a shower could go, but no one installed one. So there's like you can see the piping for it. Ah. Get going on that. <laughs> if you want to live here, that's fine. Go ahead. What were you saying, Mike? I, uh, some disturbing information was revealed. I'm not sure you know. Last yet. night? Uh, no, before the show. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Do you know Madawaska Rob took a shit in this place? <laughs> really? I mean, on the air, basically. <laughs> <laughs> no, that doesn't surprise me. How many people are shitting in here? <laughs> I mean, this is now we're up to at, least, at least three. If you're a terrible guest, you take a shit in here. You're pretty much. <laughs> I'm fucking nervous. Don't do it, Rob. I'm fucking nervous. <laughs> okay. Madawaska Rob in their top 50? Like, what the fuck are we doing? Hey, I was sandwiched nicely between Big Cat and Jerry Callahan. Let's. let's like that I was said, a good list. I said, all due respect That's to you. You, you know, you're a great guy. I like you, but like. I laugh my Jerry Callahan on the show is a huge part of the show. That, it, that was an insane. Li it's insane. To I mean, start Greg Polar twice. <laughs> to start a top Greg, 50 list. two more times Greg Polar should be on any list. <laughs> <laughs> to start a top 50 list with a debate. They were like, who's 50? They were like, well, I have this person and I have that person. You know what, you they, know what, they didn't have anything settled. You know what Casino when, uh, when, when De Niro says, ladies and gentlemen, Frankie Avalon. Yeah, yes. That's what, number 10 when Tim's like, number 10, the Minifans. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, you just listed 12 of them. 
Like, and <laughs> listeners like you. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I mean. Like, like this entire build up. Number 10. <laughs> Have Mormon fans. I don't understand it. <laughs> it was like some of these names. I was like, what? Hey, you were in a plane or a, a car in a car when this was happening. Who me? Live, yeah. I was no, no. I wasn't watching it live. That's that's uh, for me. That's like light because I, I, I that was Friday. Yeah. Next day I was on the road on the train. Like I knew I was gonna have a long day, so I was I was gonna listen to it on the train. First I listened to it first half on the run Saturday, second half on the train, and I was just like. It was just like there's no goddamn way you're seeing this live. I was like, I was like, I was like <laughs> how stupid be. are these people? And like, be. you know, I'll give Tim from Canton credit. He did show up to to to. Uh, wish me luck on the train. He knew my exact Sweet. train schedule for some Sweet. reason because I didn't. Sweet. Nobody knew that. I don't think. <laughs> he was there, but he was felt he was apologetic. But you know, my the real loser in that list, the real loser in it is Andy Mayo, who was a total dick during it to Gus. I mean, it's like you know. Well, Gus had one of the craziest points I've ever heard in my life. When he called, we called him on the show. <laughs> when uh, what do you mean about the the wedding? Oh, I, no, I was going to uh, say about me. His reason, it, Gus. <laughs> Andy Mayo explained why he had me at two and Steve mm -hmm. at three. Right. And gave plenty of fine reasons. Mm -hmm. And Augustus didn't have anything left to say. What so did he say? So what he said was, I feel Mike should be second because of how much content Why Are You Laughing has provided. <laughs> and he's not joking. This I, is not, I, 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 make, I didn't make it this far in the list. He goes, he goes, how much content Why Are You Laughing has provided for KMS? <laughs> What the fuck are you talking about? I don't even know what that, you think I ever listened to that show? Yeah, yeah you're fucking you're lying. Right. Once. I, 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 I listen to that. We didn't talk about it here. Like, hey, Kurt, great job. We spent more time on Tim's dumb documentary we have on Why You Laughing. Yes. And I'm fine with that. I, don't want, I enjoy why. All kidding aside, I enjoy Why You're Laughing. It's very good. I listened to Norm one when I was in New York. But that's about as much content as I've provided. I don't think there's much. That show. What are we supposed to say? Right, exactly. Can we do it. Like, it, was, I don't, I, it was the craziest thing I've ever heard. But then immediately after, I even said it with Mike and the Minifans. Well, Mike, you, we're talking about it now, aren't we? <laughs> It's true. Aren't we? That's true. Boom. That was my, <laughs> the long con. Why Mike done that? <laughs> what, is your, what is your point, Gus? <laughs> Kaiser says it. My point was that immediately after I said the why are you laughing thing, I brought up the Mike and the Mana fans part and how that's now part of a show and continue going now with the new All due respect, like, Mike did a good job of Mike and the Mana fans, but, like, that's not... It was legendary. The, the reason the Mike is two or for. three on the, is nothing with fucking Mike and the Minna fans. He's Longevity. on the show all the time. I didn't Longevity. want to repeat what Andy said. I wanted to come up with something <laughs> new, different from what well, Andy made. something that's that. real, like an original, <laughs> actual thought. Those were two original thoughts. That's why you think Mike Geary is because number two I, well, in the history of the show list? Because of, it's, it's why are you laughing at Mike and the Minna fans? Qu Quincy has provided more content than why <laughs> yes. like legitimately. <laughs> His fucking mother has. Way more. <laughs> yes. His dad. We, we didn't even know. <laughs> He I spent more time talking about Mike's dad than Mike has spent talking to his dad. <laughs> well, I don't even understand his brother. Why, why are you laughing? Dirty Mike and the boys has been more than the fucking show. Yes. I mean, get, what, the fucking kid, the, the woman he had anal sex with a Bentley. I appreciated the plug, but I, did, I couldn't wrap my mind around it. Gee, what, what you, and what was the... So he called, <laughs> called the other night. I was so tired. And he said, Gig, who is a wonderful guy. So great, great guy. number ten because he was going to Sheldon's wedding. That was, was crazy. <laughs> that was one. Which thing. I, by the way, I was invited to, <laughs> and almost went to. If 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 there wasn't, really? yeah, I was thinking it was a surprise. It'd be kind of funny if I just went there and did a show there. <laughs> it'd be it'd be kind of funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, Is that worth it? That's what's funny about it. I think. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I wanted to do it. Yeah, yeah. Who else would do that? That's true. But then I saw the pictures. I was like, "Well, all right, thank God I wasn't there." <laughs> like, people drove to it. Like Ziggy Robinson. Yeah, no. Drove to it. Uh, Charles, you didn't go. Tony and Gig drove. I think Ziggy flew. I, I have the invitation. It's an absolutely phenomenal invitation. I have it too. It got sent here. It's beautiful. I, I, sent, I sent a nice note. I think Sheldon liked me. Now this is disappointing. Well, that's why you're number three, Mike. Yeah, sorry, I know. Buddy. Steve, no, Steve I, officiate the I wedding. Know, I know. I was gonna say Mike's number two. Sheldon would be a Steve would be number two for like a North Dakota guy, like Sheldon. Sure. Oh, that's think, probably yeah, true. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Those yeah. guys all love Steve. Yeah. You're more the liberal, you know, gay. Yeah. Yes, that is me. That is my brand. Liberal and gay. <laughs> Joe DeRosa. Mike Geary story. Hello, boys. <laughs> um, uh, what were you saying? About what? Do you want to take that one back? Or no? I, what, gig at 10? Yeah. Because and the reasoning that. and the reasoning because of the wedding. Yes. Uh, I'll okay. take it back just because. He's never been on the show. No, but he's, he's done. He's contributed to the show, for sure. I was sure. going to say, he's For contributed behind certainly. the scenes. He's a Hall of Fame fan. Certainly. But he's never been on the show or a, no. su a real subject of. I, mean, I, think he, I feel like he's been gone for a while. Maybe I'm wrong. I feel yeah. like he's well, kind of checked out. No, I mean, 
his his mom passed. He became a recluse. Uh, got shredded. Uh, 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 repaired uh, an entire eighteen uh, hundreds blackness shop. Nothing to do with the top ten. Guys. If the Wonderful. list was I'm very happy for him. If, the list, mom, but, you know, if the list was like best Mina fans, I wouldn't have a problem if you put him number one. If you wanted to, no. But yeah, I, I, I'm just like he hasn't been on the show. You oh, you know, there's... you know who <laughs> fucking stinks. By the way, if we're gonna do Mina fan stuff, God damn it. stinks. The worst Mina fan going right. Now what? 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 It's gonna be George Pizza guy, right? No, he stinks though. Oh, no, okay. no, he <laughs> I can't no, I stand about. this no. McFustady he's slander. A, he's a good man. McFustady stinks. He no, no. stinks. I'm, I'll, 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 I will get that place closed down. Oh come on! I guarantee you, I will it's call a fine a establishment. Threat. I listened to much, much as I could running. Would that be yesterday? I forget what day. Uh, to uh, uh, Mike and the fans. Yes. That acronym guy sucks. Oh, sucks. Okay, sucks. Shit, really sucks. Like is an asshole. Sucks. 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 So is he? I. I this is why I hope Biden sends just him to uh, the war in Israel, just by himself, so he gets blown up. That's. I just want him sent. I want Biden to hold a press conference and say we're sending troops, we're sending acronym guy, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> you can be in a crowd like you were at Saco. Uh, that's and you can be in. I, I don't care about You that. can be staggering. You can whatever. Just don't scream at fucking yeah, Kurt. That's stuff. Yeah. That, that was bad. But I'm moving on from scream. that. I agree with you on that. He stinks. So he's on Mike and the Minute fans. And towards the end of it, he's like bitching again about this dot in the eyes crossing the T's job. Oh really? Oh my God. And he's like, he's like, it's a double standard. Like I'm like, we've talked about this job now a lot, a lot more. Like the job's not that interesting. Like. You know, I'm not even sure it's a job anymore after soccer, which Julie did a good job. Right. But he's like, you know, he's like, I sent a resume. He's like, I don't know why I'm not considered for a job. Oh, so I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, you were at Sako and you were absolutely fucking blitzed out of your brain. You think I'd ever hire you for a job ever? It's not ever? a good strategy. Oh, go away. Go away. Go away. Year ban. Go away. You're out for a year. Go away. <laughs> I'm a joke. You suck. I literally watched him go to two different producer candidates before myself saying, you're my guy. Until he worked his way to me after they blew him off. And then he was like, you're my guy. I hope you know this. <laughs> Making deals? Yeah. <laughs> they call it Kirk Minahan. So like Barstool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Jersey Jerry. No, brothers for life. Um, <laughs> which we are. But, uh, but oh, he stinks. He's the wor- he's actually right now the worst man in the fan. Damn. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, tough yeah. to hear. Yeah. Well, listen. It's, it's quite a title. It's a tough world. Uh, who? who uh, I always want to know who's tweeting what. I saw somebody suggest... There should be a uh, initials tweet like AA or or Coleman after each tweet, so we know who tweeted it. Yeah, because I don't know what's fucking going on with this Twitter. Mark. I know. Stinks, who do you but... think? Yep. Who do you think's the culprit of what? Uh, the tweets that have uh, annoyed you. I think Augustus. You Although think I, so? no, I, I, that Taylor Swift one was you, Coleman. Yes. Yeah, I, I yeah, would have thought so yeah. too. Yeah. That tweet. It's just not the way our. Twitter account has been. Maybe that's maybe that needs maybe even more well, flexible. That's not the way I think. Yeah. I don't know. Here's the problem. But I'm not tweeting though, so I, I you know I don't know. Coleman's younger. He's a Coleman dummy. I don't speaks know. differently. Like he tweets in his tone. It's I, mean, like. I hired a 23 year old. That's what I'm saying. Even like him earlier saying like rips or whatever. Like, he kind of tweets like that. Right. So I can tell a little bit when it's him. I gotta I be think. like Michael Scott when he. Makes his hair look like Jim. You know, when he's, when he's, when he's, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Cigar, dude. I was talking about, what are you talking about? My hair's always like that. <laughs> and then, were you the one who did the Rosalita comeback? Yeah. That was really bad. I know it was, and I almost intentionally did that one. Uh, almost as like a bit of a troll job so we could go back and forth a little. Like, with you and <laughs> the uh, account. How did I do it? How did I do with that? Did dance, I engage much with that one or no? Puppet. No, I mean... I, <laughs> I just looked at it and put the phone down. It just... Uh, it no, 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 exactly. Yeah. We got a, we got a I, war going. I, it came to my head the minute that I heard you say... I saw you say, if this was Bruce... So instantly, just a oh, dumb, dumb yeah. pun came yeah, yeah. to my head, and I was like, "Oh, this will definitely piss everyone off who's already pissed off at the show." Yeah, they account. hate the account. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So and the dance continues. Yeah, start a little chess game. <laughs> <laughs> well, but like I said, I didn't really have a problem. Like, I, it was weird looking. Like, I would if I was at the, th- I wouldn't want to go to that movie. But that's what teenage kids are supposed to do. I don't know. It's I, like it's, fucking concert. But it's, it's a movie theater. It's a the sacred theater place. where we but, watched your dozen trivia. And while you were firing like people up at first, right, they, they would crazy. feel the same way. Yeah. They'd be like, I if, I told, if I told everyone they had to put their hands around and go around in a circle, they would have done it. Yeah, Probably. sure. Or even just walking. If someone had footage of whatever, booing uh, Andy Mayo or something, right. people would be like, what the fuck is this? But yeah. that's not a pre-recorded movie. Like, like that's, these are, a, these that's are, a show. These are teenage girls, though. 
I mean, not all the videos that we're seeing coming out are all but just it's a young concert. girls. It's like it's like an experience. What are you, I, nine I think, years old? I think some <laughs> things are sacred. I think you keep the movie theater sacred. It's not a movie. And, it's a fucking concert. <laughs> I see it as a movie. It's definitely not a movie. It's so, a concert. Listen, there's sing-alongs, but the You're whole... You're supposed to sit there with your... Like, the Midsummer Circle just... I didn't like that. Did you go? No, I didn't go. John Rich went. Yeah. It's was, he, <laughs> was he in the circle? <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice turn. <laughs> a movie shooting there, unfortunately. <laughs> But I, I don't, I don't, I, yeah, anyway. I, I like who, the idea of Coleman in this theater just kind of like giving him the eyes, like, <laughs> by himself with his hands crossed. Are you going to do this the entire movie? <laughs> <laughs> who had the tweet that annoyed uh, my friend Casey Smith? That was me, too. I like that. I don't have a problem with that okay. tweet. Now okay. we're getting dirty. That's, right. See, that's what I like. Yeah, that's, I like, think there's a mix of all that. That's the attitude that I like, because she was not happy. Yeah. Not yeah. happy. The Stan Sanders thing it seems to be breaking her. I don't know why she's yeah, so loyal Yeah, I don't know why either. <laughs> Do you have her number? I have it if you want it. I might. All right, we'll call her. Let's see. She may be traveling. I don't know. So was that you who quote tweeted me or do I, I do hate not. your producers now? Oh, she <laughs> said that? Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. Awesome. I said, I very rarely tweet from the show account. I said, go after them. You know, Coleman and Andrew Augusta. She said, I don't know these people. Jack wow. Coleman was a bar stool for a while. Oh, I do know him. I don't know these people, although I did try to avoid Andrew Augustus at an airport once. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, I like we're telling you what airport she flies in. He said an onion. He said. <laughs> also, I didn't say anything detrimental to you did her. Nothing I, wrong. All you I did said nothing. was what the tweet did. No spin zone and then proceeded to spin zone. We'll That's call her right exactly now. Exactly what she did. Call her right now. Well, like Casey apparently not getting to know the little people at bar stool. She doesn't know Coleman. No, not like me. I want to everybody. Yeah. I will say this. When we were done with the competition, uh, it wrapped on Thursday night. Rico Bosco had handwritten notes for all the production people. <laughs> really? Yes, like that's thank nice. you notes for everybody. That's a very, that's a, that's I mean, a that's classic. a mafia type of move. <laughs> right? Didn't, didn't go through. Oh. What, straight to a message? <laughs> yep. All right. Let me see here. She may be trying. I don't know. She, she, doesn't she do like an NFL thing today? Probably so. Oh, yeah. She does the pregame show, right? Yeah, well, they had they were in uh, they were at LSU for college football. I don't know when they left there or anything. Uh, so, I think they would have left yeah. yesterday for that, right? I will say I, I saw some of that. <laughs> Mincy was on stage at one point, and he started rapping. And oh, Jesus. <laughs> and oh, that's God. what I'm saying. The flashbacks Jesus just started Christ, going. Oh, yeah. oh, it's like, let's get, let's get him off right now. <laughs> Only Vanilla Ice songs, please. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, but that's fine, <laughs> is it? No? <laughs> well, he also, he, he tweeted, too, the other day. He was like, I'm heading down to, to, to South uh, Louisiana. And, uh, what impression is this? This is, this is Mincy. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was Mincy himself. I thought you were playing a drop. Yeah, there you go. Some fellas. Yeah. Uh, he, he was like, Crawl down I'm, I'm singing rap songs, but don't worry. Uh, I got to find the exact wording, but it was like, yeah, I'm back on my rap shit. Oh, but good. We're all <laughs> don't worry, that. everyone. We're all hoping that would happen. My. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what else is going on? Um, tr tr so there was all the Dion stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. Ran through it, but yeah. Um, I could tell you one thing on the list that I know Tim and I are excited for. <laughs> oh, <ahead>. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. We, we purposely didn't listen to the audio, so I don't know if it delivers. Mm -hmm. But I, my understanding is that a very serious man has taken on the issue of Israel versus Palestine. <laughs> oh, Jesus. We should talk about Julie DeCaro. <laughs> oh, we that's have, we have that as well. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so who's, who's weighing in on this? Uh, Mr. Uh, Montante. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to heal the world. Yeah. <laughs> another guy. Let's heal. Another guy. I'm quietly starting to hate. Really? Oh. Yeah. He's just not feeling it. He, I don't know if it's the the spell you cast out by saying he's very serious now, but like when I hear him now or see his tweets or whatever, I'm like, he's a serious man. One of the now. mornings I ran in, in Manhattan before, during Sir Ryan Barstow, I listened to some of his episode. And he just, I, I don't know, and I don't. I, I mean, I do retweeting Jerry from the show account is. Insane. That was that's dumb. like fire, borderline fireable. I so, fully understand that now. Secondly, Montante doing it, I'm even kind of. I know it's dickish. I'm kind of like, eh, pick a side. You know, I, I should suppose. do his stuff, but don't do our stuff. You know, pick a side. Yeah, he's in Thursday supposedly. Yes, we'll see oh, nice. if that's. Again, yeah, we'll see. Well, is he a paid employee? Like, is that his job? Does he make money from them? Or I have no idea. I don't yeah. know. But he's like, I think he's an opportunist. I don't even know if he's really a fan of the show. Oh, I don't know about that. Nah, that's what I'm kind of bad on him right now. <laughs> Man oh. cried on he stage, likes, for God's sake. No, but he wants, <laughs> just because he wants the job so people will think he's, I guess nothing to do with the show. Oh, he wants I, the glory. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I kind of hate him. <laughs> that's tough yeah, to hear. He's on the hate list right now. Oh man! Speaking of, I can lie. I mean, what do you want me to say? He yeah. never, he never like changed himself. He never changed. He hasn't changed at all. 
not as far as the way he like tweeted and did stuff like you're right about that 24 <laughs> 7 like these fellas he's like, wearing a scarf and fedora in this uh, israel clip. he was still tweeting about fucking Tulane, like minus two six people i hate craig and montante all right <laughs> doing jerry show god craig's another zero like, well, i was like why no. was he why are you at the live show the other night like, get the fuck out of here <laughs> craig's you know? always very prepared for my program he what does a fine job what why craig i don't like him that's true I think he's okay. an asshole <laughs> he, he was why, there why don't you like craig because i think he's an asshole <laughs> A nice guy. Uh, go ahead. I think there may have been a stand down order for a set amount of time. <laughs> Let the atrocities happen, as terrible as that may be, because this gives Israel the why. This gives them the reason to do what they've wanted to do forever, which is wipe Gaza and the Palestinians <laughs> off the face of the face of this earth so they can expand and be more safe in the long run. What? Now Iron had to this. this. Oh, there it is. We got the little we got the little headline there. Yeah, this is no. the headline. That was it? He adds a lot. That was what you wanted to hear? I, 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 didn't, I hadn't heard it yet. Oh. They just told me they had uh, Montante talking Israel Palestine. What's going with Jerry? Why is he feeling? Like, was Jerry sick or something? Oh, yeah. I guess he, uh, his voice was oh, not more voice stuff doing well or something like that. Yeah. That's I don't really know. But. Uh, yeah, he has that every once in a while. Yeah. Probably. So so he's first to fill is Montante. That's very <laughs> exciting. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. Well, what else? I thought this is zero. Uh, Suzanne Summers today. Dead. She's 76. Dead. dead. Yep. Early crush of mine. I'll tell you, that was a early, week. early, early, early. Oh, my God. Chrissy Snow. She was so hot on Three's Company. Jesus fucking Christ. When I was in 10, 11, 12 years old, I would fuck. I masturbated to that show. Well, my mom and wife were at a fucking play in Ogunquit last weekend. She was in the play. Like, Suzanne Summers was? Yeah, she's in the play. Like, she's the biggest. Really? Yeah, I think she has always had pull in Ogunquit to get, like, the Broadway people up there. And really? she's just, like, a benefactor of the, you know, playhouse and shit. So she is in plays. She's what play? She's at the studio. It was uh, Tootsie. Oh, yeah, I saw that's That's torn. She's in that? Uh, I believe she was either in it or... A producing or something? Yeah, or there on stage or something. Jesus, yeah, she had that. But crazy she was there last week. My parent, my mom, and wife were there last week. Tim, Jesus. Tim did this thing when he found out, like when you find out people die. A lot of people do this, where they said they mentioned Suzanne Summers died and he hadn't heard it yet. And he goes, "But my mother just saw her." <laughs> As if that didn't give her the will to live. <laughs> she can't get DUIs and kind of bump for it anymore. Like that's not. You're cool. getting her confused with Joyce DeWitt, who played the other lead in that show. She got arrested for a DUI in the Gunquit. Ah, she played Janet. No, You're thinking that Suzanne Summers has had several in Ogunquit, I believe. No, I'm you, I'm looking. I'm not. Who really do you think's gonna be right about this? <laughs> that's I'm a good, that's a good point. Who do you think's obsessed with this? Who, who pays attention? I'm to this gonna stuff? guess you. Look up Joyce Dewitt DUI. She's still kicking. Well, I mean, I just saw her last week. Oh, good. She's in my house. Oh, good. Joyce Dewitt sends a probation in DUI case. God damn it! That was Columbus, though. I thought she well, got arrested. That's a tough mugshot. I thought she got arrested in. Suzanne Summers has got one in Watertown? No. Really? What? Really? <laughs> Pour one out for her in the streets. <laughs> really? <laughs> Suzanne Summers says it. Does Suzanne Summers have a DUI in the Gunquit? Wow. I looked up Suzanne Summers' DUI. Yeah, but it could be just because you're in Watertown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the way, that's the way it works. <laughs> Sorry, Suzanne. R.I.P. Babe. Oh, this hot forty-eight-year-old mom wants to meet up with me. She's two miles away. <laughs> Fuck yeah! I gotta leave the show. Uh, honey, I'm getting a hotel. Every name he looks up, uh, Alec Baldwin had a DUI in <laughs> Watertown. Also, I don't see that for her. Yeah, I'm not yeah. seeing anything Watertown. I'm I up. think I think Joyce. To, to, are you sure it was Suzanne Summers who was in the play? We'll look it up. We'll find out. But yeah, she. So she famously. A couple of things. She actually had like two or three shoots step by step too, which was kind of a big show. That yeah, which you probably know better. With that Patrick was my. Duffy. That's yeah. my. I had, I had a weird aging thing where this is the first time someone I probably masturbated to, but definitely found attractive when I was young, is now dead nearing eighty. Right. It's a weird thing, you know. Yes. Yeah. You masturbate the step by step. Well, Suzanne, some only to the code, man. I mean, I don't <laughs> He's know. a hunk. But she. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like the Cody years, the code, man. He's a hunk. <laughs> she made a ton off that thigh master too. Yes. And then she left Three's Company. After, when she was at her peak, she wanted more money. They said no. They replaced her with somebody who played her cousin, who stunk Cindy. Then they brought in Terry. That was the first time they really, TV was a big, Charlie's Angels, too, big deal. And they did those great, uh, like, uh, oh, whatever her character's name is, is calling. On and the then phone. she was in a totally different room. They, they had her come in and record, because uh, she was like, taking care of her sick aunt or something. 
Yeah. The end of every, every episode, Jack would be like, oh, the phone's ringing right now. It was her while they were renegotiating the deal. It looks so, as a kid, I didn't realize it. Why even bother doing that? Because she was contractually obligated to do the show. Oh, oh yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. She, I don't think, she, I don't think she wanted to. Right. But, uh, but yeah, that was the first like. This happened all the time. They did it on Charlie's Angels with, uh, what's her face took over for uh, Farrah Fawcett, and then the Dukes of Hazard. They, which was my, my favorite show as a kid. Bo and Luke, the actors John Schneider and Tom Olpat, found out they weren't getting any merchandise money, so they wanted to quit. They wanted to run out, and the producers were like, "We're going to replace you." They, had, I think their names were Coy and Vance. <laughs> you know, these terrible actors. I remember one day watching home with my dad on Friday night and these guys just show up. I was like, who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> Even, but you didn't know any back then. And then they were just gone for like six weeks. So yeah. So I, Susan Summers was great on Three's Company. Great. Oh, she was great. I always kind of respected the Fresh Prince move where they're just like, it's the same lady. Oh yeah. <laughs> <We're> totally different <laughs> stature, skin color, yeah. everything. We're just going to call her Aunt Viv. Right. That's what Will Smith could cool. control a woman back then. Damn yeah. straight. It's a different time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, what this wild story that what the hell's going on? Insane. I I don't know if you read the full LA Times article. I don't know. With Jada. There's some wild quotes from her. Um she said that She's still very Tupac obsessed yes. too. Still very much into Tupac. That right. believes that he was her soulmate. Right. Um she it's also emasculating to say it oh. <laughs> been divorced, it's been like essentially divorced this for seven. True, years. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. This is like a great a slap a. thing less and more crazy, I feel like. I think explains the anger, but also makes it crazier in a different way. It, it's grade A gaslighting by her currently. Yes. Like, I've never seen a gaslighting job as horrific as this. Well, she, I mean, we're just got to step up at some point. Agreed. Jesus Christ. I'm yeah, it's tough to watch. I was just informed that uh, Suzanne Summers is not Sally Struthers. Sally Struthers was also <laughs> a wrestler. So, she was Gloria uh, on uh, yes, All the Family. Uh, my yeah. wife just reminded me that yeah. Sally Struthers is not Suzanne Summers. Sally Struthers was a wrestler for DUI in Ogunquit. In Ogunquit, that's, that's and correct. she was in a play last weekend in Ogunquit. <laughs> okay, what, boys, we're back on track. Yep, back. yep. From, uh, Jesus yes, Christ. Yeah, she was Gloria and All in the Family. <laughs> there you and go. And then yeah. became the mom on Still Standing, as a matter of fact. Is that true? Both sitcom moms. <laughs> wow. Yes. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. What else? Um, what's so, going on with you, Gus? What, what's going on with you? We haven't heard from Gus really yet. We got a new um, song from Steve's a liar guy. He sent one in. Okay, we'll get there in a second. What's going on with you? I'm saying. Oh, we, I, uh, the wife and I went to go see Saw Ten. <laughs> okay, Saw which X, was nice. Okay, yeah. And we, I had like my first. I'm getting old moment because I had to get up and go complain about these kids who were making too much noise in the front. So I had to go complain for that, which was my first experience <laughs> doing for that. that? Yeah, my first four. That means you're complaining for my first yard time. He's pro. He's kids. pro noise. My my first time. <laughs> I went to go complain. <laughs> I went to go complain for the first time, and it we felt heard weird. you. We understand. You're saying yes. it felt weird. Uh, we we got that. We understand that. What else? <laughs> we, um, what's going on with you? Anything like, interesting or no? Nothing really too interesting. Did you do any work this last week? I most no? certainly did. I was pulling, you do? pulling clips, pulling clips for Coleman. Uh huh. Um, throughout that, we were working on getting the show up. Um, I still don't have a barstool email, so that's making oh, yeah. or a barstool HQ login, so that's making it a little Good. difficult. Okay. Or your phone. <laughs> Good. Yeah, or I'm, I'm starting to get that office space vibe. Really that that's what I'm saying. I'm just, yeah. Have yeah. you seen Gold. my stapler? Go ahead. Um, so I was just working on that behind the scenes. I was letting Coleman cook on the Twitter. We were sending some tweets back and forth to share out with each other, and I was just letting them cook. Like what? What does that mean? Let him cook. Must have been exhausted. That was, him throw, that was him throwing Coleman under the bus. You're not working. Then? No, no, no. Well, cause we, so when when I was show, uh, I was supervising. Yeah, right. No, when like the when we pull clips from the show, I'll mm -hmm. send it over to him with like a proposed. Like here's what I would roughly say, and then Coleman puts his spin on it as well. So kind of like. So a, can you not tweet from the show account? I can. Okay. Do you? Yeah. Like what's a tweet of yours? An original tweet. An original tweet of mine. Usually the ones I tweet are from with the show clips on it. Okay. And then, so the last one that I did was paying this fucking. Person. He is beautiful to watch back there. It's very, it's like a Apollo thirteen. The people started. I noticed people starting to turn on Gus a little bit. Oh, I've seen some of that. Yeah, it's I've seen not, both of them being. But crazy. You know that is. Just ups, yeah. just downs. They'll be fine. I'm not too worried about that. I'm more interested in when they turn on you. On who? Coleman. They are a little bit. I think. Oh yeah, when the, the Twitter when account. the fucking yeah. dickweeds come out and really he's, start he's fucking. He's pretty laid them. back though. I don't. I, I don't think he's in a break. Gus, I guess I'm worried about. I, I've always found it funny when people clearly take your criticisms of people because, like, I, I was just randomly tagged in this. Yeah, you said something about like the show Twitter account, and then um, uh, the show tweeted something later, and someone replies, uh, Whoa, "Real, real nice tweet from the show account. Really, really <laughs> killing it." And I'm like, "You would not have said this if Kirk didn't motivate you to already." And believe me, Mike said that out loud. There's no doubt about that. 
<laughs> yelled at his phone. Plus, Quincy. I was like, what? She's in the other room? What? <laughs> Threw his phone against the wall. Nothing. Well, it sounds like a lot's going on, Gus. What was that, Coleman? No, I was just going to say it's annoying, too, when, like, uh -oh. that's the mentality. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Uh-oh. No, let, uh -oh. let me cook. Let me cook. <laughs> They're coming. You, you've let seen your cook. Gus, let him cook. Yeah. Let him cook. <laughs> Go ahead. Cook. No, I, just, like, when that mentality is there, and then there actually is a decent tweet or something, and someone's still replying, like, I didn't see one oh, of those. Oh, I, I don't know. I thought the Casey tweet that was, was a good, good stuff. That was a good one. And in, like first tweet reply back was just like, you don't know how to use Twitter. And I was like, all right, bro. Uh oh, that voice is not good. It's not good. You're starting to break. I think you'd break this I'm early. I'm not breaking. Not it's breaking. fucking October what? Uh, 15th. 15th. We're two days away from Matt Fuller's birthday. We're good. I mean, Jesus. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? It is. 49. Can't yeah, believe it's been a year already. already. I know. It's Since weird. we celebrate. You think text Steve? I think you will. Yeah. Hey, we always send Steve naked pictures of that. Katie Hill, congressperson. Remember that woman? Oh, yeah. yeah he, he would? Was, yes. He was I obsessed don't remember with that. her. Yes. <laughs> but isn't he like super Steve would be like, yeah, you just sent another naked picture of Katie Hill. I'm like, oh, well, okay. I don't know what to say about that. I don't know. Yeah, I think he is. That's so odd dichotomy. Very strange. Gotta go. Very strange. Was Matt Fuller on the list? I don't remember. No, but I mean, he could be like the bottom five. I could see him being in, in there. early run. Yeah. I mean, he's done as much as like. Oh, you said, you said it was crazy that Ben Albright wasn't on the list. Chaps wasn't either, was he? No, no, he should be. Chaps definitely should be. Yeah, that was a big miss on me. Uh, between that and Curtitone were like my two big ones. That was Curtitone on the list. That one, that one I was very disappointed. Was Mike Portnoy on the list? Mike Portnoy? Uh, he was on my list originally, but that got kicked off by Tim and Andy. Okay. Uh, can I say Menners would have done a much better job, I think, than the three men that... that couldn't have been any worse. Yeah. I mean, they, they didn't have a list. No, it was crazy. And Andy Mayo, who criticizes pizza things and 5Ks and the show... You give him one assignment, he can't do it. He can't put together a list of 50 fucking people. And then they were bickering, and Andy Mayo was kind of like, oh, let's wrap this up, that sort of thing. But it's like, it's all of your faults yeah, for not yeah. having a list. Not, it's actually not <laughs> Menor's fault. No, other than It was not his job. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. Tim's fault. Uh, definitely uh, uh, Gus's fault. Certainly. At first, I think. First and foremost, Gus's fault. And, uh, well, Mayo, I think. 50-50 for those two. Okay. I like Tim, so I give him a <laughs> Sure. I actually enjoyed Menners just consistently popping in throughout. This is <laughs> terrible. <laughs> you fucking dickhead. <laughs> Andrew <laughs> Augustus. <laughs> Augustus. How about, Jeff, how about Jeff Lowe's? He brought me a dinner the other night how much he hates Andy Mayo. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, Jeff D. Lowe, you have to understand. Like, I know people are like, oh, like, Big Cat doesn't listen to everything. Rico doesn't listen to Jeff D. Lowe is a massive yeah. fan of the show. And I, I've seen now, I've seen now, like up close, like when a friend of yours gets addicted to the show. Because <laughs> he'll talk to you about the show at dinner. And I'm like, yeah, I just want to. I, I, can we just talk about movies or something? I don't, right. Can we, can we just rip on cons or something? I don't know. And he he obsesses over like Twitter feedback. Almost the point where he, almost the point where he doesn't even notice if a check is coming in front of him. <laughs> that level of, that level of uh, concentration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he's like this. He's like fucking Andy Mays. He's just a creep. He's just a creep. I'm like, yeah, we know. He's just definitely a, a creep. He's just a creep. To be that successful, which is a good word. Andy Mayo living in your head because he is because he is a creep. Even if you like him, I mean, he's in this. Not even dispute. He's a creep. Sure. But yeah, he's like this fucking guy. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> let go. That's such a badge of honor for Mayo, though. Absolutely. Like, you know, he's gonna love that and only bother uh, Jeff Moore. Well, they'll be in together, I think. And I mean, look, two things. Number one, we have that Star Wars showdown coming up, and number two. I teased it. I'm, I'm not going to announce it yet. A legitimately major collaboration between the Kirk Minahan Show and Lights, Camera, Barstool. Oh, that's right. Legitimately. Yes. I will say Minahan fans will find this collaboration a 10 out of 10. I will say that. And I don't, I don't do that often. 10 yeah. out of 10. Can I make a guess or would that possibly? It might ruin it. Okay. Well, <laughs> um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't, okay. don't potentially. I, I don't know. But yeah, 10 out of 10. How I long? Think. How long what? Till we find out. Yeah. Mm. In the next month, I would say. Okay. Nice. I think in the next month. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you announced that. You got the, what's it, Border Talk with Jared you've, you talked about from Border Cafe, having dinner with and doing those interviews. Well, yeah. I, Where's I, that going? Is that, gonna is, is yeah, that, that still going to be a thing? That was, that was a real thing, yeah. <laughs> it, it seemed like it could have been. Yeah, that was I real. listened to yeah, it. First episode Tuesday. <laughs> hey. Why don't you get to work on it? You produce the show. I, I, I'll, I'll do it. I'll start scheduling guests. Okay, great. Start scheduling tests. Okay, well, the guy who fucked Obama. <laughs> Fantastic. Or no, we won't, actually. I think he might be dying. Hey, really? Oh, I mean, no. just, just following his Twitter, all his medical updates, he keeps posting about how his surgery keeps getting delayed, and well, it's just not looking good for Larry. That's too bad. I'm sure Montante no, will be on top of that. No question. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's fucking 
two idiots in this booth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Shitheads. What else? Uh, I have this town hall audio. Um, town selectman Li- Lilia Maselli. Uh, she goes off on this six-year-old dude, and uh, it's pretty funny. All right. Well, whatever. Sure. It's not bad. <laughs> Just play it. Who cares? Dead song. I am not. It's a conflict of interest. Okay. Really? That, yes, it Long is. Long Island, New Jersey, or is this? This Massachusetts. Massachusetts. Real? Oh, okay. Where? W Town somewhere. Yep. Is it W Town? I think is. It, this sounds like a, a KMS caller. What? It the person. The woman no, like no, 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 no. The guy who she's battling with. Sound, Why do you, is the, I disagree with him. Do you think it's a KMS caller? I think it might be. Why? You just you listen well, and tell listen. me. Oh, you heard this. Yeah, you yeah. you listen and tell him. You're subjecting yourself to this stuff. Go ahead. I am not. It's a conflict of interest. Okay. Really? That, yes, it is. I don't. You answer represent on, the town. I don't represent analog to the town. You represent the firefighters. You represent I do not the public represent safety. Like Kevin yeah. You think so too? But, so, but it's not him. No, I didn't. I, the guy's I didn't think name it was is close. Kevin McDonald. Okay, it's not. It's not him. <laughs> Name. Oh, that changes everything. <laughs> 30 years older. <laughs> you found a Kevin? <laughs> it must be him then. Similar cadence. <laughs> You're the guy who calls. I think his real name is Kevin anyway. But he, I don't know. Gus, <laughs> Gus is terrible with voices. That does sound like him. I see what he's saying. No, but the, remember the guy he thought was Mad Dog? These oh, people that don't was, say, That was bad. That it's was not bad. confusing. Like, is that him? But I can see, you, you, Tim, you can't hear that? Like, there's a little... Oh, no. The, oh, the, oh yeah, I, I hear it. Okay, if he was yeah. doing an impression of it, I'd be like, oh, that's not bad. Right. But it doesn't... I'm not, I'm not confused by it. I'm not like, oh, that must be the caller. Yeah, does, she, does, she, does this guy ask this woman... If she ever puts her period <laughs> blood on her cereal in the morning when she has breakfast. Do you like, know? Yeah, I mean. Or no. Or no. Or no. Let me hear a little bit more. The job that pays my family's food. Thank you. Have a nice everything. night. Okay. Yeah, thank you for uh, your attention to this matter. Good thing yep. no one in town likes you. Uh, go you said. go I, with some I, ice cream. Yeah, why don't you go fuck yourself? <laughs> no, good for her. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Kevin. I don't, I don't think that's Kevin. You think that's him, Gus? I would not be surprised if it was. Do you think it's I think it does. I think it does. The guy in the video is like 50. I think it does? I think it does sound like him. Do you think it's him, he said? I think it does. <laughs> yes, I think it's him. You think it's him? I think it's him. Okay. Beautiful mind at work. <laughs> but you're just lying. This is where no, I think Justin I'm nailed him. Yeah, I, I think actually, he lies for something to talk about. No, 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 not at all. Why? There's no one else I've heard speak with that kind of cadence, and he kind That's of does sound like. I've never heard anyone else in, have that type he, of cadence. Sure, he kind of sounds like. He doesn't sound exactly like him, which but is the only way he could be him. Though, no, because it, but it also sounds <laughs> differently when it's going through microphones like that than it would be through a phone call. Because on a, you always sound different on a phone call than you would on would those you, recordings. Would you say, for argument's sake, <laughs> that that man sounds older than the Kevin who calls into the show? No. Where, 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 where is this? Not budging where is this? <laughs> We can look. We can find how old this guy is right now. He's 60, 60 year old. 60s in Wilmington. You think the fucking guy in Kevin who calls on the show is in the 60s? He's you fucking <laughs> moron. As, as, as I've been around some live shows and seen this fan base. As yeah. you've been around some live shows. I, seeing the fan base. As you've been around some live shows, you think this guy Kevin is in the 60s? I think he could be, yes. He's not in his 60s. I just say, I've been to plenty of live shows. I don't think it's all 68 year olds. No, I don't think it's all 68 year olds, but I wouldn't I've be surprised. I've been to plenty of live shows, and I think this guy Kevin is 58. Because I've been to a if I haven't been to many, I would have thought he was 62. That's true. I've missed some, to be fair. So I've Yeah, you weren't at Saco. Yeah. yeah. You were in Mississippi, though, so you probably think he's in his 60s. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I don't know. Because yeah. you've been to live shows, you think he's, he's in his 60s? I, the percentage of people I, at the live shows in their 60s is like 1%. But I, don't, I just don't think it's I don't think it's out of the realm of possibility that it could be him, that he could be that old. I, I don't think, I don't think you it's, believe it's that. Actually, <laughs> it's actually impossible. I think you believe it's actually that. impossible. <laughs> I could be wrong, but I think it's him. You are wrong. Okay. You are wrong. I'm wrong, but I still okay. think it's him. Okay. What else? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wasn't there a Trung update of some kind? Oh, that's what Trung should do. Trung's great. Trung news. Yeah. We took four points this week, so it was a good week for the team Shatheeds. Good. Uh, <laughs> Trung, I've learned, is adopted. I and, figured. And he's did. Vietnamese, not Korean, so he corrected me on that one. That's good. Racist. But his dad, <laughs> his, his father, father his, adop- his adopted father... Uh-huh. Who he tells me who he is is Kevin uh, McCullough. I was going to say it's Kevin McDonald. <laughs> David, the, uh, the the producer David Seltzer of The Omen. Okay, great. Mother and of God. and could be a and he said he's a ghost right. He was a ghost writer on Willy Wonka, and that his Trung's grand, Trung was a ghost no no, no Willy Trung's Wonka? father. Oh, Trung's okay. father was a ghost writer on Willy Wonka, and uh-huh. Trung's uh, kids call his father um, 
uh, Wonka instead of grandfather <laughs> or grandpa. Okay. So wait, Trunks' mean? dad produced the omen? <laughs> That's what yeah, he tells yeah. me. Okay. That's insane. <laughs> Tim cares. <laughs> <laughs> I love that fucking story. And that's the only time I've pulled over in a while to laugh while I was laughing. Because I was just putting that guy in like the Lebowski <gasps> crew, but like with like it, the way fucking the bowling crew, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It, like it's just me, uh, my buddy Phil's dad, John, uh, <laughs> Trung, and Rob. And it just, it was a perfect, uh, that was a perfect. Perfect moment. Andrew, oh Gus may have told the worst story. <laughs> there was silence, and he just goes, oh, you got to hear this, and tells the worst story about Who his did, fucking Gus? brother at, at the bowling oh, alley. Oh, yeah. No, I, I found out tonight that my brother he, is he, he in the... He, he threw it out as like, well, you need to be hear ready this for guy. this. Yeah, yeah. like... It was, it was, I get news. <laughs> yeah. just, no, my, you just get here like 3 o'clock or something? <laughs> We've been here a while. Oh, we packed a while in. <laughs> yeah, we were having a good time. Story in the, time. Like, we knew you were coming in like five minutes and just fucking... Jam it all in? Right yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I found out that my brother today is uh, does a different league on Sunday night at the same alley and the woman who works the bar you there. want to start the show with this fucking news no why, not why, at all. Why, i'm sorry why not come here this morning and do this i, I could do two weeks on this yeah your brother what's your brother's name ron ron, ron. jr oh ron jr oh wow, oh, wow. Oh. he got that that's that's tough that's like being joe dimaggio jr that's... frank sinatra jr i like to think uh gus is older and they just no, he didn't is. embody the uh, ron augustus i bet name. your gus is looking like that when he was born <laughs> probably just like wow this is a mistake so so ron jr ron jr they call your dad call him jr no you? just ron Okay. Does he have a son, Ron? No. Your, your brother? No. Okay. No kids in our family. So Ron, good. So Ron Jr. is betraying you, is what you're saying. Well, he's not betray betraying me. He's just in a different league then. So then what's the... Who gives a fuck? Well, because the woman who works at the who bar... Who gives a fuck? He's betraying you. I don't even, <laughs> there was no betraying. What I, bar? I, the bar in the alley. Where you bowl? Where I bowl. Where did this happen? When did this happen? This right? happened like about like 30 minutes before you showed up. I just got a random text from From him. the bartender? No, from my brother. Saying what, what the fuck he, are you talking my, about? He my, presented this to us as breaking news. He was I getting did not it. Presented on, to on you the, as break, Mike, come on. He was getting it on the, on the Ron hotline. Jr. What? Ron Jr. Yeah. went to go get a pitcher of beer. A pitcher of beer. And then the bar, uh, the bartender goes, "You have to be a re you're not a real man because you ordered Miller Lite because I always get the IPA that's on draft." And that's something I said like ten years ago, and the woman's never forgotten it. She tells me that joke every time for ten years, mm -hmm. and that was it. It's the worst story of all it time. It really is. It was just. <laughs> I, so why would you share it with the public? Why would you tell them? It was just, I, I was just laughing Nobody about it. Nobody would care about that story. Nobody. It just, it Nobody. was an ADHD moment. We were back here doing stuff. It's, it's worse than that. It's terrible. A terrible story. I enjoyed it. I didn't get the, it's not even a story. <laughs> See, he had the opportunity. Your brother drank a beer? I didn't even get the story. And, Tim, am I misrepresenting how he approached? <laughs> no, it, well, he made it seem like Kirk it was a him what deal. else was going on in his life, and he didn't lead with this. It's <laughs> a huge mistake. Huge I mean, mistake. I even get it. <laughs> Jesus, what else? Ron Jr. Uh, SNL back last night. Yeah, killing it. It was brutal. Uh, it was, I saw some. It's what it is. It's just what it is. It's yeah. fine. Whatever. Coleman was telling me that they started with a, yeah. a serious. Pete was very serious. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Rico uh, tweeted, uh, blogged about how much he liked it. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't know how to feel about it though. I thought that I'm one, all Pete Davidson out. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm all set. I would I say know. if you're gonna yeah. do that, why even have Pete Davidson on? Was dad, I get what his dad. I'm gonna get why Is he, he talk. dating that Ice Spice lady too. No, he's dating uh, Madeline Klein oh. from Outer Banks. I just figured. He was. I don't know who that is. Yeah. I don't know who any of these people are. That Ice Spice person. I. Came my YouTube. I don't know who the person is. I don't know. Yeah, she's not great. I don't no. care. Taylor Swift was there. I'm so sick of Taylor Swift. Shoot Taylor Swift to the fucking moon. Get out of my life. Nope. I'm sick of the stupid football player. I'm sick of. I'm sick of them all. Leave me alone. I'm sick of Lauren Michaels. I've had enough. Just get, we're good with the show. We're all set. Oh sure. man. They can't develop any stars anymore. The show stinks. Yeah. Terrible. Deion Sanders bit. Terrible. Terrible. Well, that's what I was. It didn't even look like him. Terrible. Like I mean, terrible. it just looked like Keenan in a. Colorado outfit. What do you want him to do? Deion Sanders to do it? I mean, what do you yeah, want? Like, I don't know. Like to do it? I don't, I don't know. I think there's... Well, as the history of SNL would tell you, there are many candidates for that job. <laughs> yeah. I guess. You know, I don't think. You know, I don't well, think Jimmy that, Kimmel was available. I was trying to figure out, because like, uh, you know, if Mike Myers came back to host, he would do the... They would do a Wayne's World thing and shit right. like that. Like, they'd play... Does Pete Davidson have any characters? I that swear, I don't even know. He did? I don't even think so, right? Not I don't really. think so. Right? I don't. He's like the one awkward guy that's just like, oh, cool. Like, he just, like, yeah, I've, I've roundabout Pete does that. that. It's, uh, it's brutal. I'm not saying he's not talented, but I've just kind of seen it. Does I've it seen still it. do ratings? Like, good ratings? No, not really. I think, but I think it's a lot of, like, YouTube views. This is the way the world is now. Like, it's, you know, segmented like that. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I didn't really. I saw some. I saw one that was decent, one segment. It was fine, whatever. Like, it's fine. The show just putters along. Probably a lot of buzz. Taylor Swift was on last night. Kelsey was on. Yes. 
So, you know, it took like, me out of it, though. I, again, it just felt like you're really another... deep in before that. <laughs> oh, I, I between a, a cold open that wasn't really funny to start a season. Well, and, Jerry Callahan here is not happy with the uh, with <laughs> SNL. He had Jerry tweet the one of the guy who looked like Jerry. Yeah, no. that was actually pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> Court Minahan. Oh, was that who did it? That was what funny. was it? Uh, it was like, I don't know how the hell they do it, but they superimposed like Coleman tab on backwards like that part of Coleman's face with Jerry. Yeah. <laughs> it was Almost actually, like a celebrity mashup. Yeah. It was actually, it was yeah. actually, actually yeah. it was kind of creepy, but yeah. Why can't like SNL just do a thing where, wouldn't it be funny if the, if Pete Davidson was dressed as Hillary Clinton and sang a song or something? Yes. Like something to make yeah. fun of themselves yeah, in but that they, moment. Yeah, but they're not, they don't do that anymore. It's crazy. They're right. so, they think they're so important that they can't just fuck around for an hour and a half. Do you think they'll pull the plug after Lauren walks away or dies? No. No, because like it's a, it's a brand. Like it's on Saturday night. And it does okay. Like you know, yeah. it's, I'm sure it makes money for the company. It's not a super and it probably expensive does, thing. It probably does better on Twitter, definitely and, YouTube, and YouTube and shit sure. than any, anything else they have. I on NBC, imagine. yeah, I would think probably except for like a maybe like a few Fallon bit or something. Right? Nah, yeah. I would bet better than that. Yeah. yeah, but Fallon sings with Taylor Swift or something stupid. I like think that. people are sure. generally out on Fallon now. I agree with that. Yo, know, I agree. No, I think it's probably yeah. their most one of their biggest online properties for sure. Yeah, I would think. But yeah, I, I, I didn't. I was not that into it. What else? The uh. One, one last thing from it. The audience reaction to stuff was brutal, too, throughout. Just the overindulgence in, in long pauses and getting agitated at jokes. It, right. it was just so palpable now. It, it was annoying to have to listen to. Like, why can't we just laugh a little? That's all. Damn straight, Coleman. Yeah. Were you well, watching with the bros last night? Or I, no? Solo. They, they went to bed a little earlier. I stayed up. You stayed up. You powered through. Yeah, of course. Wow. You, you, go, you go to bed late? Um, depends. Um, it's normal bedtime. Usually I wrap up for the day at midnight, Jeez, like like very late. any kind of like work related. Basic stuff. PJs. What are we What are we doing? Nah, I roll. Uh, I like a good boxer. Good boxer okay. shirt. May, maybe a shirt. Maybe shirtless. It wow. varies. Wow. Okay. You know, depends on how I'm feeling. I was very worried about my the, the night dressing in the room, bucking yeah. with the bros. Oh, interesting. What did you go with? Uh, I just wore my basic sort of t shirt. And shorts, nothing crazy. Yeah, that seems fine. nothing crazy. You're sharing a bathroom with these guys, you know. Some of these guys throw the shirt right off, though. I don't know. Did you feel like one of the guys? At times, I will say at times I did. Bro culture. Well, once you go in there, like I didn't. My attitude was, if you're in there, you're in there. Like you can't be the guy who's like, oh, I don't want to be. You agreed to do it. Sure. You go 100. percent You don't do it at all. And I went all in. So yeah, yeah. I know. I had a really good time. They're, most of them very nice guys. A few assholes, but you know, say love me. What else? Um, I saw that you said uh, Harry Minahan disproved this, but the boy with uke face yeah, reveal. Yeah, he was wrong. That's real. Oh, That's man. very real. Damn. K. Minahan then disproved his disapproval. That's a face reveal. Is he reveal still a denier or does he accept it? He that? doesn't want to believe it. So no, it's on his, it's on K. Show Me's official Instagram page and his official TikTok. That's boy oh, with Yuke's face. I don't know why he's doing that. That's bad. Mm. Too early. To, that's Popping his, his chair, yeah. Yeah, that's just, he's going to do that on the show now, not wear a mask. I, I don't like that. Well, there was the other, there was another streamer. Uh, I think his name was Dream or something. Oh, yeah, that was a couple of years ago. Yeah. Face reveal was a big deal. Brutal. Big deal. And, and everyone just life. ripped him apart because he was Man, ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this, this guy's a good looking guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's fine. I gave him a listen for the first time. What'd you think? I think I'm a fan. Oh, is that right? I think oh, I am. You take Harry the next show. Then. I think <laughs> I am. Oh, hey, good. we'll go. Good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, what song did you listen to? Uh, Toxic? Prob problematic? Problematic? Is that one? I don't know. I I listened to the newest album. You get a new album drop, uh, something Dreams. Just Lucid the, Dreams. Lucid Dreams. So at, at those shows, are there a lot of kids Harry's age? Yes. Really? Because it doesn't, it didn't, when you played the song on here, it didn't seem like kids' music. I know, but it's uh, YouTube. It's like. It's got that angsty. Yeah. Oh, sure. But I'm saying it, it wasn't like for, for kids. Oh, I agree. It's a lot of wanting to be in my room talk. You yeah. know, yeah, okay. there's a ton, a ton of kids are there. Ton. I guess I'm saying, like in you know, 2000, if you went to a Green Day show, it wasn't all 11 year olds. You there's how many little boys were there. Yeah. Andy came to me and said, "I have no cum left." That's how many little boys were at the show. <laughs> so I, there's no semen left in my body. <laughs> my moles drained of yeah. cum. It's interesting <laughs> that he would reveal that. It was so very, <laughs> it was very odd phrasing too. Very specific phrasing. Very sweaty. Except drained out. I have nothing left. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I, what am I supposed to say? And then Augustus said that was a good teachable moment where you could tell Harry exactly what Andy right. was doing. To yes, kids. yes. Yeah. Oh, for sure. Um, uh, yeah, the new, yeah, Harry likes a new album. Yeah. Oof, today, Harry and I. Oh, I don't know. Hago Harrington's, the miniature golf course I grew up on in Stoneham. If you watch the miniature mini golf tournament that I won in Arizona, when I'm announcing the first tee, Jake Marsh says, from Harrington Academy, because that's where I learned mini golf. I told him I went to Harrington Academy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Um, 
closed permanently today, last day. Oh, what? Oh, man. Mm, yeah. Yeah. The, 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 they're in a huge lot in Stoneham. Across the street's this big Ford dealership, and they bought the other side of it. So they actually let them do it for the last couple of years. Today was the very last day, and Harry's been playing there. Kate, not so much for mini golf, but Harry, since he's like three or four, we go all the time. During the pandemics, one thing we could do during the pandemic, we played there. We've played there together a thousand times. Went there the last time today. And I'm not afraid. This is a shame to say. We were done. We we're walking to the car. He was welling up. I was welling up. We both cried in the car. Really? Yes. Oh, it's kind of a it nice a moment. Bonding yeah. moment. You know, yeah, it was very. I was true. very emotional. I'm going to miss that place so much. Uh, so yeah, I felt bad for Harry. I felt bad for me. I played with my dad there. It's now it's gone. And Great run for Hagos. Great run. The, 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 the original owner sold it to a very nice guy, big fan. Bought it, I don't know, 10 years ago. And Hagos, the original Hagos, was getting older, but the greens were perfect because they were still fast, but they weren't like good for if kids are going to play. So they kind of redid it. They had to lay it over again. So it was slow for a couple of years, but it was already, but it was nice by the end. So tough. Why didn't loss. you invite Tim, one of your mini golfing peers? Well, you say he plays at Tabers. Well, formerly Tabers. A shithole. Hey, Harry, my name is Tim. You want to show <laughs> Tito's or something? <laughs> exactly. What's going on, bro? I think exactly. that would have been fun. I can do a gravity exactly. bong. So very sad. So very sad to see. No, no many golf places really around here anymore. It's sad. I didn't go to Tabers once this year. After you told me about that, we only went a couple times. I, the magic's over, right? It, when you got people shooting three, four under par for a tournament, you can't I mean, what what are we talking about? Plus, like, I, I, plus my I guy did, Richard. I know? didn't want to. I bitched about them nerfing the course, and it was re refuted by the owner himself. Uh, but then I think the proof was in the pudding during the main open. People are fucking coming in like way under par yeah, that's on bullshit. fucking three round. Right, that's, cool. bullshit. <laughs> that's bullshit. What are we doing? What else? Uh, actually, a, a couple people were submitting some mini golf videos. Um, they're not really anything we could play audio. The ones on Twitter all weekend. Yeah, I saw a lot. I don't know what was there, going on. Uh, one was I think an old school mini I golf tournament. Yep. They said, "Where's Kirk in this?" I've watched that on YouTube before. Yeah, yeah. And then the other one was another guy, a guy going between. The, yeah, bet yeah, between all the cups and everything. It was fine. I mean, I feel like I could do that. Yeah, I don't know. well, I that's what practice. people were saying. Yes, I could do that. Have yeah, you I seen the way Europeans play mini golf? Yes, I've watched. It's it all too. just completely angular. Angus looks joyless. It's literally fucking. You have it reminds to reminds like, me of like IKEA when they're putting together like a like a like a desk or something. They I use don't. like a balada face, like yeah. a super uh, soft putter face. So you I don't can like, like it. spin it and like cut it like a almost. It's not mini golf. Yeah, it's really something else. It's fine, but it's not. It's math and yeah, the Germans like dominate it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. What else? Um, did you happen to see the Bigfoot video drop? Yeah, I didn't care about it. That's bullshit. I don't, I don't know. Like fucking like, <laughs> Tante? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it kind of got me for a little mm, bit. Yeah. That was like a dude in a ghillie suit that had just murdered a woman was burying the yeah, body. Was like, oh, fuck know. a train. Yeah, just, I just sat I, down. I, I didn't buy it. I did, I did not yeah. buy into it. I don't understand the Bigfoot conspiracy. People believe there's one of something. Yeah, what does it mate with? It's stupid. Or... The Loch Ness. It's so dumb. Like, yeah. It's just dumb. It's like Montante bullshit. It's just dumb. <laughs> like, it's just stupid. Like, what does it want... mate with? Yeah, that's well, a good yeah. question. Well, well, how, well, how old is it? 10,000 years old? <laughs> yeah. 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 That's a good question. <laughs> so I never, that's why I never understood it. Like, what, it's what so, did it come from? It's so dumb. Like yeah. People think like aliens are going to land here and have like weird heads. It's like, no, it's, the, the world doesn't work that way. It's fucking stupid. There are no conspiracies. Dumb. Yeah, Coleman. Idiot. <laughs> He's a fucking idiot. <laughs> you fucking dummy. Fair. Uh, Rolling Stone, top 250 guitarists of all time. I barely looked at it. I didn't yeah. look at it much. Who is it? Who's it? Well, give me the top 10. Yeah, let me... I mean, I'm sure this is going to be so PC I'm going to vomit. Someone put one up. It, it, it was like, okay Muddy Waters was like 65 and yeah. some random guitarist that have, I think... Some new guy a, or something? Well, a trans... Person. Trans guitarist? Yeah, seemed and it was like twenty four, and it was just like forty really? spots between like muddy waters Jesus. and this person. It was just kind of like here we well, are. Well, I mean, if Eddie Van here. Halen's on number one, though, this is stupid. But go ahead. What are you doing? Why are you giving me signals, to you, Gus? <laughs> Gus is giving me hand signals. <laughs> yeah. What are you doing, Gus? You should go from ten to one, not one to ten. We know that, Gus. Thank you. Well, he was at one. Is that why you hold uh, up? A, leave the list to me. Is that why you put a ten first on the one, Gus? <laughs> okay, good, good. Go ahead. You just flashed. Yeah, his he did ten and one. <laughs> Go so ahead. ten was Dwayne Allman. Yep, sure, great. Nine, Joni Mitchell. Uh, uh. How's that? How I mean, I don't want to be an awful. asshole. Joni, yeah. Joni Mitchell's great, but what the fuck are Top we doing? Go ahead. Guitarist of all time. Jesus Christ. Eight, BB King. Okay, great. Seven, Nile Rogers. Great. Six, Sister Rosetta Tharp. 
I'm saying that wrong. I don't even know who that who is. Who is that? I have, I have who, no Give idea. me the bio. Who is that Paul? Uh, as a sexually fluid black woman who propelled uh, gospel music into right, the mainstream. Right, right, right. Her <laughs> key track, Strange Things she Happening been one. Every Day. She's better right. than Jeff Beck, I'm sure. Definitely, I'm Jeff sure. Beck at five. Oh, fuck. Great. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. My bad. There you go. One of the best ever. Uh, four, Van Halen, Eddie Van Halen. Should be number one. First of all, Prince should be in the top ten. I agree. That's That was my biggest Prince could be easily be number yeah. one. I know number one's going to be, I'm sure, but go ahead. Now, I'm fine with it. Go Three, ahead. Jimmy Page. Yep. Two, Eric Chuck Clapton. Berry. What? What? There's no Eric Clapton? No. What? Not in the top ten. I assume number one's Jimi Hendrix? Yes. Uh, I'll try and find Just fine. I don't, where's Eric Clapton? Not in there. Where's, where's Bruce where? Springsteen? Is he in the top 250 at least? I don't think... Bruce was in the Jesus top two. Fucking Christ Almighty! Is this electric guitars? Or I'm not saying Bruce Springsteen's one of the best guitarists. I'm not saying that, but he's, believe me, I tell you, he's in the top two fifty. Apparently not. Where's George Harrison? So, Dead. So Prince. At, true. Prince was at fourteen. Oh God! All right, give me some more names. Give me the rest of the top. Tom two. Morello was eighteen. Great, fantastic. Um, Stevie Ray Vaughan twenty. Stevie Ray Vaughan at twenty. Still not seeing <laughs> who Bruce. I like or, Bruce is in the top two fifty. Is my guess. Crazy. Who's like twelve? Who's eleven? Uh, Any random numbers. <laughs> it was an interesting. Pick yeah, and I, was, I was just trying to find some <laughs> some names that hit. Uh, twelve was Jimmy Nolan. Mm -hmm. Eleven was Santana, who I thought should have been top ten. Yeah, not one of my favorites, but definitely great. Yeah. I mean, n not even arguably great, obviously. Uh, Thirteen was Tony Imom yep. Iommi. Yep. 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 Uh, Fifteen, Keith Richards. Definitely, of course. Sixteen, Robert Johnson. I mean, sure. 17, Mother Maybell Carter. Which are one of my favorites. Got 10, or, 10 of her concerts. <laughs> uh, I mean, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah. Ro I, Robert Johnson, I mean, he invented I mean, she, blues guitar. He made a deal with the devil. But like, he's a better guitarist than Eric Clapton? No. Do you think fucking... Neil Young was 30? Neil Bell Young was what? Where? 30. Jesus fucking Christ! George Harrison, 31. Oh, get the fuck out of here with this bullshit. What is... Crazy. What are they, what are they doing? Jack White, 32. <laughs> Well, if we've learned anything this week, lists are hard to put together. <laughs> that is true. Oh, well, yeah, we should have a list. It's not a good time for lists. <laughs> it'd, it'd be great if it was like Keith Richards is like 15 or 12 so, or something. It'd be better if Gig was 12 on <laughs> Stevie Ray Vaughan, Tim Riggles. Jesus uh, Christ. Uh, <laughs> the youngest. Thir where's Clapton? Did we say we're Clapton? I one? just got to him, 35. So the 30s, the 30s have Neil Young, George Harrison, and Eric Clapton? Yeah. It's better than the top 10. Yeah. What's the rest of the 30s? Pete Townsend. Jesus Christ, that's Mike's kind of guy. Child porn guy. <laughs> well, he's, no, he's a he's a, an educator. He's doing research. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was yeah, doing yeah. research. He's Bo harder, Diddley harder in the, to start off the forties. Jesus, yeah. is the edge on there anywhere? Not that I've seen. Johnny Ramone, forty four. All right, I mean, sure. Randy Rhodes is Randy Rhodes on this list? Frank mm -hmm. Zappa, forty six. Yeah, a little overrated. I think, yeah. What? Frank Zappa? Yeah, a little overrated. One forty two. Ned Snark. <laughs> well, he's good. He's <laughs> I, I don't even... Where's Carano? He's on this list? <laughs> That's a good... <laughs> you'd have a long uh, uh, description of why... He, <laughs> how having, he got there. Having Clapton and Zappa and people like that in your 30s is... Slash outside of the top 100, disgusting. 105. Yeah, yeah. I just think, like, when I think of guitarists sometimes, Slash... Well, music. my top... I'll give, I'll, I'll give my top 10 list right now. Ready? All 10 right. to 1. <sighs> 10. George Harrison. Nine. But I think it's easy to go one to ten. One Prince. Two Neil Young. Three Eric Clapton. Four Stevie Ray Vaughan. No, 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 no. One Eddie Van Halen. I was going to say, I thought you said the Two Prince. Me. So one Eddie Van Halen bump everybody up. So am I at five? Yes. Okay. Uh, six Bruce Springsteen. Hmm. The rest of the top 10. Did I say Neil Young? I think you did initially. This, list. See, this is exactly what happens, Mike. Start over. So get, have, yeah, get, run, you need your Augustus, easy to Augustus make. Bill. You want to make it easy to make. <laughs> how, how much time did you have? Too much? Yeah, give a month. <laughs> <laughs> Goddamn pencil. Let me write these names down. <laughs> Let me see. I'm going to write these names down right now. So, all right, I'm going to put Avan Van Halen number one. Okay, anybody have a problem with that? No. I don't. Tim? That works. I mean, you can't be. A. Van Halen's the greatest of all he time. He seems resistant. That works. I'm putting A. Van Halen one. Prince two. Beck three. <sighs> Cl 
Clapton four, Young five, Bruce six. <sighs> Did I say George Harrison yet? No. Yeah. You had him at nine originally. Seven. Put Randy Rhodes ten. So I have to do eight and nine still? Yes. Sounds like Randy Rhodes is eight. No, I feel like he should be ten. Randy Rhodes is fucking shreds. I'm a big Pete Townsend fan. I'll put Jimmy Page, to be fair. I'll put him at nine. And I'll put... I wish I could remember. I'll put Mike Campbell uh, uh, of the Heartbreakers Ooh. there. I'll put him at eight. Okay. He has a great guitar solo on uh, on uh, this is a nice one. Boys of Summer also, which I love. <laughs> That's a nice do, do, one do, do, at the do, end do, there. Do, 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 do. I love that solo. So yeah, there you go. Mike Campbell brought that solo to Petty. Petty was, you know, just had he had music for him. Oh, you know what? Damn it. Fuck. Start over. No, he's Rhodes gonna, is out. Ro Rhodes is out with 10. He's going to be doing this all Rhodes night. Rhodes is out with 10. Don, Don, putting Don Felder, formerly of the Eagles. Victim of love and uh, Harry, shut I the can't fuck tell up. you why. We'll talk about Don Felder at 10. Felder It'd be 10. great if this just ended with, I, gotta, I don't know why. It doesn't work if gig isn't 12. <laughs> sure. None of this makes sense. The minifans I, I now 10. understand. It's true. The true. It's it's guitarists in general at 10. <laughs> you call, <laughs> number 10? You, you fans. You fans. <laughs> Guitar fan. Concert goers everywhere. <laughs> oh, you find people. He would, he would have like riffs, Mike Campbell. He brought that one to Petty. And Petty was like, yeah, he's like, I just don't have any, like, no, no words for this one. So like, give it to somebody else. Give it to Henley and Boys of Summer. And Petty's album that came out that time didn't do that great. And he was driving around with Campbell one time. That song was everywhere that summer. He's like, you did a good job on that. And Campbell's like, that felt pretty good. Because like, <laughs> it's a fucking great guitar solo on that song. I think. Anyway. Uh, better help. There you go. Mandatory disclaimer. Read verbatim at the top of your spot. It says, wow. wow. They mean business. Does content Kim's ad reads like mine, Coleman? Some, it, with better help, yes. Yeah. They're very particular. She had reads for better help, content Kim? I think at one point she may have, yes. Yeah. Uh, do you ever feel like your brain is getting uh, in its own way? Uh, you know what you should do? It's good for you, but you just can't do it. Uh, well, the Kirkman Man Show, I should say, is sponsored by BetterHelp. And that's where therapy helps you figure out what's holding you back. So you can work for yourself instead of against yourself. I've benefited from therapy, obviously, for a million years. Uh, I feel pretty good now. Even to get through a week like last week, I have to tell you, in the past, I would not be able to do it with all the uh, 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 sort of being trapped, not being able to get outside, the claustrophobia, other people, bad moods, competitiveness, anger. I would have lost my mind. But as I get older and more comfortable, more therapy, it works out. This is where BetterHelp can come in. Entirely online, uh, convenient, flexible, suited to your schedule. You fill out that brief questionnaire we've talked about. Get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. I'll make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash Kirk10 today to get 10% off your first month. That's B-E-T-T-E-R-H-E-L-P.com slash Kirk10. BetterHelp.com slash Kirk10. What else? So last week, uh, Martin Scorsese and his daughter had a TikTok video. Yeah, well, I didn't like that. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't like seeing. I don't like seeing giants do that. I don't. There are like four people that would bother me. Bruce is one of them. Scorsese is one of them. I don't. I don't need that. Like his daughter is like, uh, we don't. He's not a puppet. He's fucking Martin Scorsese. It's guy, it's like, kind of fucking guy directed fucking Goodfellas. <laughs> the guy directed Mean Streets. He fucking directed Raging Bull. Taxi Driver. Fucking King of Comedy. Last Temptation of Christ. This is Martin Scorsese. What did they do? Well, they, the first thing that messed it up for me was that stupid TikTok voice filter. Yes, they used a they, filter. That and, killed me. And she was like, do you know what these were? Go ahead, play. It's just, this is. I, I didn't even cut the audio because okay. I didn't want to listen to that Good voice. Instinct. But, but uh, I would say, like, this is, to me. The greatest filmmaker of all time. I feel comfortable saying that. He's up there. I don't even know who, would even, who you even put above him. Who'd you put above him? I'm asking. Dog, dog, I'm not no, saying no, I'd put no, above him. No, 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 no. No Tarantino? No, 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 no. No uh, Kubrick? No, 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 no. no. He's never made a never made. Well, I mean, Scorsese is my Scorsese, favorite, Kubrick's so I'm just guessing, great, guessing who you might great. say. Too indulgent, too indulgent. What about Nolan currently? Great, but no. Yeah. What, what, what the fuck are we fucking talking about? Yeah, here? no. This guy directed Goodfellas. So, Casino's okay. like his eighth best movie. We're talking about Martin Scorsese. He's a giant. With Scorsese, if you put, like, if you just go, like, top three movies. Yeah. Couple has got... Part two, but, yeah, but the body. apocalypse he hasn't made a good movie in yeah. forty years. Like Spielberg's fair, worst fair. movies are way worse than Scorsese. Way worse. 
And I think it has more of them. Yes, and Spielberg is a, obviously, a, no kidding, a great yeah, filmmaker. No, you're right. It's like trying to argue against the Beatles or something. Yeah, you're, you're, which you're I do, right, but right. like it doesn't, you know, he's, yeah. I don't even know. I mean, obviously, you can, make, you can make case for those guys. Kubrick obviously has huge fans. A lot of people think he's a great filmmaker. I'm not a huge fan of his movies. I like scripts, and he's, you know, more of a visual, which is fine. I, I don't, he's a great director. Nolan's a great director. Tarantino's a great director. But these are not, the, the Scorsese is, I don't even, if Coppola had had a career after that, then he then I would make the case. But anyway, but yeah, he makes a TikTok with his daughter, and she's like asking him like, "What does yeah like Riz mean or something?" Right? Right. Yeah, I, I was mainly gonna just bring up the different terms and see how you do. But okay, go ahead. All right, so we have T. I turned it off after a second. I was so nauseous. I it was gross just listening to. And seeing such a, great I felt like he was being director. used, honestly. Yes. Well, and that's Agreed. what I was going to say. Well, not, I mean, he was being used. I wish you had a GoPro so we could watch you watch things like <laughs> no, that. No, <I> <laughs> like, uh, and just physically, I don't Ill, like it. Like instant rage. He seems like he bashed uh, superhero movies and all that shit. It's, he seems like he wouldn't play along for it's something this kid, like this. though. You know, it's like he's got to do it. Yeah. This kid's younger too. Like he's probably like seventy when he had her, so he probably feels bad. Oh, is he one? Of that? He's not that bad, but like she looks like she's probably in her what twenties. Younger. Yeah, he's 80. I, mean, I, I was thinking like she was like 15. Whoa. Yeah, maybe it's his grandkid. No, is it his daughter? It, I think it was daughter. T, I know a T, spilling the tea. I, I have a teenage daughter, so, you know. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah, yeah. Well, he went eight for 12, That's, so oh, I was going to oh, see uh, how you oh, do. I'm not going to do that well. That's gossip. Like, spilling yes. the tea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, ick. Like, he gave me the Yeah, kind of like the gross vibes, like the... Right? Kind of, it's yeah, like that, a, that's, a, that's a, a pretty, red flag. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Bad V. Right? And Family Feud, we'd accept that. Thank I you, think. Steve. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sneaky Link. I had, yeah. Last night, late night, I hit up my Sneaky Link. Uh, is that like a Sausage? website or something? No. What is it? It's Country like, of origin, please. <laughs> <laughs> it, probably right here. Um, it's like a a hookup. Like a oh, one that you sure. don't want to oh, go sure. showing about. Okay. Right, right, right. Side chick almost. Like Gus's brother, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> And his Miller High Life That's story. <laughs> Trung. <laughs> Trung. Trung lady. I'll watch a Gus Trung sex tape. Oh, yeah. P and V? I'd watch it, yeah. Would or you P&A? do that, Gus, for the money or no? Would you raise a million dollars for a good charity? For a million dollars for charity? Heck yeah. You would do it. Yeah. I'm a Trung. I don't know. Wow. Okay. Well, Will he wear the dress? <laughs> I mean, I'd have to, right? Yeah, you'd have yeah, to. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Go ahead. I'm two for three. I feel pretty good so far. Hits different. That means like it just like feels different emotionally, right? Like hits you in a different spot, right? Yes, yeah. but in a almost like in a more positive. Yeah, but I'm I'm, I'm, I'm taking that one, Mike. Yeah, yeah. That, that, you got that one. The example they used was like seeing a movie in 70 millimeter hits different. Oh, great! <laughs> <laughs> I hate all of them, by the way. It's sad. Talking You're talking about Risen. <laughs> I, I feel <laughs> like I'm not old enough to hate this shit as much as I do. <laughs> yeah, <at all. laughs> But I guess hey, I am. I yeah. just got to 40. I'm really starting to hate it. <laughs> Go ahead. All right. Slept on. Like his music is slept on. Like, uh, like underrated? Yes. It's got to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, eight. These are easy. It, like in that outfit, he. What? Eight. Like A T E. He's killing it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, yeah. I'd say so. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. I know you like this. These all mean the same thing. I, think. <laughs> I, don't know. I know you like this one, but Cap. Oh. You can use it all the time. No cap. Yeah. Yeah. No cap. No cap. <laughs> you know what that means, Mike? Cap is, I assume it's like. Mike would be worse the, than the me. Li- yeah. Because he has no kids. Like, he's like no, a he's limit. Amazing. You don't no know cap? That is wrong. I talk like a man that shouldn't know this list. Right. My voice is just natural. I shouldn't know it. You're in that weird spot too. You're just old enough and you have no kids, so you don't know any of it. Right. Yeah. yeah I I got, not, if I had no kid, if I, I wouldn't know fucking thing. Right. Because Harry talks like right, this. Right. Or Kate. Yeah, yeah. Cap means like lying. Oh. Oh, you've talked about no this cap. No yeah, cap. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Right. The truth. I mean, no cap meaning you're telling. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ship. Like, I ship. Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Yeah, like you, isn't like you like like it or you something? Follow, yeah, follow yeah, their relationship, yeah. like worship. It's sure for worship. I like uh, like you you yeah. you approve almost. Yeah, I think that's yeah. yeah. What? <laughs> What'd huh? you say, Coleman? <laughs> <laughs> that, you and yeah, Gus you, over here. You're better than Martin Scorsese. I'll lawn. say that. <laughs> uh, simp. Oh, oh that yeah, that a, I know. Yeah, that's like a. I don't know what it like stands for though. It's like I know that it's mediocre pussies. The M and P. I don't. I forget the first. What does it mean? I, I actually never even heard that before. I just heard it used. You've, you've never heard SIMP? No, I, we no, said I we have. Uh, he didn't know it was an acronym. Yeah. It's an acronym? Is it? It's, it's something something mediocre pussy. 
Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I did not know it was a... Uh, I believe oh, so. Oh, we yeah. have it, so I'm, go ahead. I'm not seeing it as an acronym. Oh, really? Oh, my... Yeah, I'm like, it's because his own name's for Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sucker right? idolizing mediocre yes. pussy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn right. There you go. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, I know the kids. Me and the kids are talking. <laughs> uh, throw shade. Oh, that's easy. Yeah, throw shade at somebody is like... Uh, yeah, you're uh, shitting you're talking on them, shit, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Slaps. Yeah, hits in the right spot. Yeah, there you go. There you go. See, I'm, I, I'm on this. You're a hip guy. Yeah. Lastly, slay. Like slay queen? Slay queen. Yeah, slay. Yeah. yeah. I know that. <laughs> I got 11 for 12. Yeah. Impressive. Better than, better which than one, old Martin. Which one didn't you know? Uh, I forget. Sneaky Link, maybe? Sneaky oh, Link. yeah. I've never yeah. heard that. Yeah. No. Did Marty know that one or no? No. You knew either of those? He didn't know Sneaky Link, Slept On, Ship, Simp. He's like 80. I'm impressed yeah. with that. Yeah, those are the ones. Even then, don't you think part of him was just like, I don't fucking know. Yeah, just could leave me alone. <laughs> I don't know. Dies here. <laughs> so old. Like, Telma, is that you? God, I hope this movie's great. I know. Yeah, I please so make too. a great movie. You know, a great Scorsese movie with De Niro and DiCaprio in it. I'll say DiCaprio has not been in many shitty movies, you know? No, although I didn't like his last two. I didn't like uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I didn't, I didn't like. And I didn't like but Don't people, Look Up. I have to rewatch Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. People love it. I rewatch. I didn't like it. It's people, all the ending. The last twenty five minutes. Exactly. Of that third act Stupid. is one of the funniest things ever. Stupid. I hate the ending because it just felt like they were hated, trying to do. That's why I kind of hate it. But when he pulls up, like, I hate that, the Inglorious Bastards ending. That, I like the I movie. Thought, but I hate the ending. I thought it's they were stupid. trying to redo in glory. I think definitely. I think yeah. that was the point. Yeah. Yeah, he's doing a lot of this historical change. I don't like that. I, I don't either. I just don't like it. And Tarantino loves that movie. I mean, he's written like two books about it. Yeah. It doesn't. It just doesn't. So when Brad, I've heard people Brad say it's his best. To see Bruce Dern. That's nearly flawless. Ugh. Fucking. Sick. I didn't like it. I gotta rewatch it. I really? was boring. I was bored the whole time. What was the one That's before fun. that one? You said his last two. You didn't like. With the uh, cap, oh, cap yeah. Don't look up. I didn't. Like don't look up. Oh, hated oh, that. Oh, I, fr- yeah. I, I liked it. Yeah, no. I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at it has all. Has no resonance either. Nobody ever talks about. It. Like you say, what you want about Tom Hollywood? I might be wrong. Like people still, it's like a, like a critical. People love that movie. Yeah, I liked, don't look up. It's just like didn't even happen. I liked it, but that that goes against my Leo theory, where that feels like a movie he shouldn't have done. Probably right. It's weird he did it. Yeah. So yeah, I don't <laughs> like movies that are like overly preaching to me. I would agree with that. Like, that was Don't Look Up. Well, for sure. That's <laughs> the Adam entire McKay, time. Yeah, it was yeah. brutal. Adam McKay used to be funny. Yeah. This is what happens, yeah. What else? Um, so, uh, this Harvard... Um, Harvard? Yes, yeah, sorry. I'm, I'm trying to find the best way to explain it. But Harvard last week, they had a oh, truck yeah, yeah, with, like, yeah, yeah, a yeah. billboard. I don't know what... I don't, yeah. know, I don't know what to say about this fucking goddamn thing going on. I, I feel like I don't even want to weigh in on it. I, I feel like I'm not going to add. Montante already did. Just, that's know. true. <laughs> he <laughs> said it all. He said it all. I don't know what to say. There's clearly terrorists going on here. I feel like the world's going to blow up over this fucking thing. I don't. It's. I feel like it's never going to be solved ever. It's just never, ever, ever going to fucking be solved. I was surprised. And when he was talking to you, he seemed kind of just like, ah, whatever, I weighed in. But like, I was surprised Portnoy felt the need to weigh in on that. I think when you get older a little bit, and those things do affect people in his life, I think. Yeah. I wonder. Because I don't think he's doing it because he feels like he has to. No, that's what I'm saying. I, when, I, when he was talking to you about it, I wasn't like, you know, douche chilling out or no, anything. Yeah, but I it was just like... Yeah. I was, was surprised it? he... Because he, he usually doesn't... get. I feel like the, the COVID stuff that he would get a lot of shit for, right. I almost felt like he didn't like that, really. But maybe yeah. I'm wrong. He came up to me before one of our challenges and said, uh, let me ask you something. I want your opinion on this. And I said, sure. And I think I said this on the show. He he said they want me to do this roundtable thing with Sasha Barry Cohen, oh, and yeah, yeah, Seinfeld yeah. on this whole thing going on with you know Israel and Palestine. He's like, do you think it's a good idea? I, I didn't because I was like, yes, I wanted to see. I just wanted a picture <laughs> of those three. <laughs> I was like, you should definitely do that because there's a lot of benefits you weighing in on that stuff. Yeah. Uh, I don't think he did. I think he just listened in on it. But um, what a bizarre, crazy. We're gonna get Jerry Seinfeld, Dave Portnoy, and Borat. To- I think he said. You know Seinfeld's wife, a probably from the Hamptons, I assume. Oh yeah, she had a big uh, take on all of this. Did she? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Very big funny. Instagram. Or no? po- oh, it was a, well, a lot of laughs. A lot of laughs. Oh, <laughs> it was a yeah, yeah, it's just the like deal a, with Hamas. Yeah. Who are these people? <laughs> Sasha Baron Cohen, like, is just can you be funny again? Like, I, don't even, <laughs> I think we talked about on the show. I actually think Ali G is the funniest character. You said that. I have a soft spot for Borat. So do I, but I, I think I, I, I got Borat same... too much. Though, like, he started doing it like. Well, the sequel he, wasn't great. He did, like, the U2 Kennedy Center on her. Like, yeah. it just became a thing. Well, LG was just very funny. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he is definitely great, but Borat is, like, oh, Borat's a, great. a top five movie yeah. for me, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or comedy, anyway. Sequel, yeah. No, 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 no the original. No, yeah. Sequel's no, not no. great, but... I, Sequel's horrendous. I do think it's still wild that, um, what's his name, 
had that scene in it. Rudy Giuliani. Rudy, Rudy Giuliani. Yes. yes. I would say that's wild for sure. Well, I, I just... In the well, moment, seeing it and watching it, it was one thing, but it came up again like a couple months ago to me, and I was like, that actually happened. Like, yes. he, he was, if there were no cameras there, like, but I, was, I think he was kind of, no, I don't think he was really down for that. I think it was overblown how yeah. he, I think they kind of framed him that way. Yeah. 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 I mean, it was nuts, but yeah. Still yeah. wild on cam, though. I would agree. I would agree. Uh, but yeah, what Coleman's else? just sitting in someone else's house thinking that. This is crazy. Is that <laughs> this a rat? Is, this is nuts. Woke up in the middle of the night. Yeah. <laughs> Rudy. <laughs> but I mean, it's just, it's just a squeak, fucking, squeak. it's a mess there. <laughs> Jesus, is a mess. Disaster. What else? When does Coleman move into Gus's house? That's true. Well, that. So, update just in general, we have a camera being shipped out tomorrow for us, um, like a vlog camera. Excellent. Mm -hmm. We're going to have about two to three weeks to make up some vlog content, prove that it will translate well. And if we if it if the videos do well, get some views, we'll be able to keep the cam, keep it rolling. Wait a minute, this is just just mentioned this. You quote tweeted Augustus a week ago. No lie, this is wild if true. We'll leave it the cliffhanger until after next week about Trung. Is that it? His fucking father was what? Well, I I was that's, in, that's the fucking one that Well, I was interested in it because his, fa his father was a producer of the, the Omen? No, the Willy Wonka part got me though, because historically Roald Dahl hated the interpretation of that movie. <laughs> and so that, fucking what? That's interesting to me. <laughs> Because this is some <laughs> random dude from a bowling league. Hey, Twitter. open your ears. Did you hear how Roald Dahl reacted to it? <laughs> you like movies. It's a movie connection. It's a, I mean, The Omen's a big movie. Wonka is that really, is it, that's, yes, that's, it was that's, his. That's, it, that is not. That's, that's, I, a, that's, a, that's, I, that's what I thought it was. It's a two out of ten. What's that? I want Tim to correct me if I'm wrong here, because I don't want to be the guy that beats up on Gus just because it's fun. <laughs> Gus presented this again as if like this is gonna. When I, I'm not gonna say this name to you now because it's gonna blow your fucking minds. Well, Here's a tweet like, from Gus. 10, 10, 5, 23, 3:42 p.m. The mystery of Trung only continues to thicken. Yes. I will do everything to get this man in as a third chair. Ooh. Coleman, no lie, this is wild if true. We'll okay. leave you with that cliffhanger <laughs> until after next week. It literally sounded Whoa. like he planned and carried out the Tet Offensive. Like, <laughs> it was just like, I thought this, I, I, this guy is like I so gonna, famous. I thought he was going to be Blinker Guy. The guy got nasty. <laughs> I don't even like. I, don't, I, don't understand. I, did, I did ask him the last time he was driving on ninety three. He hasn't been there in like five. Well, I was ninety five. <laughs> Wasn't that the ninety three ninety five split? But I was on ninety five. Oh, it's so, all. Well, we got. Well, okay, you're right. No, you're right. I, mean, it was, it was, it was on ninety five. It was right by the Woburn movie theater. I think at the time there was a lot more Trung hype going on too, myself included. That so what happens I, you I take was, a week off. Trung yeah. Yeah. It was Trung, Trung mania. <laughs> Trung all over the place. A Trungle in the jungle. <laughs> wow. I can believe this. His father, <laughs> like, what? His adopted father produced the omen. But then you and said, Wonka. That, but, but, but then he was a ghostwriter on Wonka. As dumb as dumb as the doll thing is, you didn't even bring it up right there, though. Like, what do you mean? Well, you're saying it's a big mystery. Oh, yeah, you didn't, about, didn't even mention it while we were talking about it. <laughs> I think it blew your mind about it. Yeah, because I thought that that tweet was coming at some point. Well, he was still cleaning up his mind off the wall. <laughs> <laughs> it was blown. I understand. It's completely blown. How do you know it was a ghostwriter for Willy Wonka? Because we looked him up. We It says on Wikipedia? Yeah. 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 Oh, it's confirmed that he was a ghostwriter. And this is. And I've, I've asked him like three or four times. Like, are you, you're not just pulling. He could be pulling my three, leg. So you've asked three or four. I need to know. I think four. Okay, good. Thank you. But Roald Dahl hated that adaptation. <laughs> Jeff, D, Jeff D. Lowe's not going to like fucking this. Hated. Jeff D. Lowe's not going to like this because his favorite movie. I'm not a huge fan of that movie. Which, oh, no. which one? Willy, Willy Wonka? Wonka. I'm not really that big a mm. fan of it. I think it's as a kid, I was creeped out by it. He seems like a goddamn fucking pervert. Like, well, I, I think thought the Johnny fucking, Depp one I think he was, was fucking so. those kids. Gene, Gene Wilder's like top five for me. Favorite. The end where he's like, he gives, he's like you, you can stay here now, boy. And he's like hugging him. I'm like, what yeah. the fuck? But it's, it's a weird. chocolate factory, dude. It'd be awesome, right? Like, yeah. David rape. Seltzer was brought in to do an uncredited rewrite. David Seltzer. Uh, here's his Wikipedia page. Born February 12th. Same birthday as Kate. And 1940 is an American screenwriter. Uh, best known for writing screenplays for The Omen and Bird on a Wire. Holy shit. Bird on a Wire. Mel yeah. Gibson. He did He did Lucas, which <laughs> I like. Produced Bird movie, on Lucas. a Wire. I don't have this guy in the trunk. <laughs> this guy looks nothing like Trung. I don't know. It's an adopted. I don't know. It's not gonna lie to me, Gus. It'd be great if Trung didn't know he was adopted. <laughs> he was born to a Jewish family. Uh -huh. <laughs> adopted. You wrote thirty percent of the script, adding such elements as the Slugworth subplot. No shit. Yeah. 
Good music other than the Opa Lupa composition, which means he has that terrible Cheer Up Charlie song, which is the worst, worst of all time. <laughs> the most skippable scene cheer in any movie. Cheer Up Charlie. That stupid mother writes. Oh, that Brutal. Sweet. The deadbeat Stur- grandparents shitting cabbage. in the bed all day. Is he credited with the screenplay for fucking The Omen, though? That's yes. Pretty yeah, yeah, he, yeah, I know this guy. He wrote The Omen. Wow. That's pretty impressive. That's a pretty good movie. Yeah, how's your mind? Is it blown? <laughs> blown all over the wall. That's great. <laughs> I also wrote the fucking Omen 4. We're not talking about a genius here. You so. wrote the Omen 4? Yeah. Oh, okay. He's staying around for the sequels. Oh, <laughs> you know, he's, got the, he's got goddamn 40 kids from Vietnam. You gotta pay the bills, yeah, yeah, gotta pay the bills dude. Jesus duck, duck pin bowling balls don't fucking buy themselves. God. Does he see his dad a lot or no? Not that I know of. I don't know. I haven't asked him about that. Should just lying and be a wild lie. He could be. Yeah. He very well could be. <laughs> like I said, he's got all these burns and scars. Because David, he's a, this guy's Jew. Is he like converted Jewish? I don't know. I've never seen him come in with a yarmulke or a practice. Well, does he, when you guys all buy beer, does he ever chip in? I mean, I, he's not in our beer pool. So, uh, yeah. so his, name is, <laughs> his name is Trung Seltzer. <laughs> is that really his name? That's really his name. <laughs> it's like an awesome drink. <laughs> A new high noon flavor. Yeah. <laughs> Refreshing. <laughs> I bet you it was the only... Tr- like sometimes with a case you have a name, it was comedy, you have to find them. If Trung Seltzer killed somebody, I think it would be a lot yeah, of... Every, everyone, yeah. just, everyone just found him. Holy <laughs> shit. What's his middle name? Do we know? Is I like, have no clue. Like Herb or something? Like, I'm like, I'll ask on Tuesday. Wow, Trung <laughs> Seltzer. <laughs> what a name. It's a great name. It's a terrific name. <laughs> Chevrolet. It's a wonderful name. Jesus, oh, that's oh. Great. What else? We'll take calls in a few minutes. True, yeah, um, it's not cheap, but we'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, in a couple of years, buddy, you're going to be <laughs> ponying up. <laughs> Jesus, did you want to listen to the segment that Julie was so offended by? Uh, oh, that's this, right. We, we forgot about, about a song Carr. first. We have a new song. We do have a new song. Oh, here. Cheer up, Charlie. That mom was a terrible actress, too. Oh, oh, Christ. God. Stop it. What the hell's <laughs> happening? <laughs> Fucking idiot. <laughs> All right. Can you open up on yours? Yeah. Built into my teeth. What was that? Who even knows? Are you going to send it, or yeah. what are you doing? It's in the DMs. Oh, boy. Yeah, great. I got that open right now. Do you like any songs from that, that movie? The original movie? The original? The one where the uh, uh, little uh, that candy bratty store. bitch gets killed by the... Yeah, uh, that candy store does look awesome, though. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The one where he gets the... Yeah, that is Phenomenal. a great-looking place. Who can take it? That's the creepiest guy in that whole fucking movie. He's the guy that runs a candy store. It's that creepier, guy's got a whole he's look. creepier than the fucking... Yeah, he's, he's going to... Slugworth guy? He's going to back room. Is he Slugworth in the hall in the, the tunnel? That scared me as a kid. Or when he's at... Uh, is it Veruca? When, he, yeah. when he's with Veruca, so he pulls her by the stair and does a little Joe Biden whisper. Oh. Yeah, so it's right. Yeah. yeah. Well, all those like German produced like early '80s, like, like the Never Ending Story, yeah. Labyrinth, like all those movies, they were not meant to be like for kids, but they were. I know. It's just weird, so yeah. weird. Like, I don't know. Fucking deeply disturbing. The Never Ending Story dragon thing always kind of freaked me out. Never Ending Story. Was that Toto that did that soundtrack? No, that was a song. Me. For Never did Toto. That's not. That's not them on that song. Oh no. Uh, I hit it. Oh. Taylor's at the game Watching Travis play They need to make a sex tape mm-hmm. I heard Big Cat say mm-hmm. Those close-ups of her face Are making Dan irate He needs penis in Bay JJ mm-hmm. I heard Big Cat say mm-hmm. He wants to see boobies Plenty of cum shooting, eating out that poon tang. Hopefully, some tongue up her behind. Cause he wants to see them fuck, 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 fuck. And Travis hitting that dump, dump, dump truck. He just wants to see her suck, suck, suck. Suck him off, suck him off. Breaking out the dildos and butt plugs. See, the Maybe problem with this song, hold on. Two girls. The problem with this song, obviously the greatest of all time. The problem with the song is we were gone for a week. Oh, yeah, that's true. I just feel like this, yeah. it, the, the things pass by now. I, I, there's not enough. It's one joke, kind yeah. of. Yeah. You know? I mean, he's the greatest of all time. I like yeah. he's doing songs. Now. I want him to do songs all the time. Yeah. Am I wrong or no? That's a cover of a Taylor Swift song. 
Yes. It, it was a yeah, shake it, it off. off. Okay. So, okay. Well, you've, really, so you've really encapsulated what he was going for, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> it, well, it doesn't. He's the greatest. He's the greatest. We yeah. all know Hotel he's the greatest. California but or he, he's something. great with references. You're like, holy shit, I wasn't, wasn't expecting that. Right. Where this was, is, we know it's. I was kind of waiting for it to tie into something. Yeah, yeah, show yeah. Me, yeah. Does it or no, Gus? Justin was just texting us about some uh, Trung updates. His middle name is Van. How does Justin know that? I don't know. <laughs> He's with Justin him right just now. sent a picture with David Seltzer and it looks like a young Trung. <laughs> I wish I said it to me. What? <laughs> Wait, Justin has Wait, a picture? He probably, he probably did a Google search or something. Like that. No, I like think a, Justin's in a picture with David Seltzer and young Trung. <laughs> Trung Van Seltzer. Is a, a wild name. <laughs> Oh, is that the trunkster? Yeah. <laughs> Justin just said it to me. Yeah. <laughs> I, he has four kids. I'm going to guess. I think I can want. guess which two are adopted. <laughs> <laughs> the trunk looks good in that picture. Okay. Is that definitely trunk? I mean, it's definitely David. I, I, I can confirm this on Tuesday night. I'm going to okay. show him the picture Trung and be picture. able to confirm. Good, That's good. very funny. What's his middle name? Van. Trung Van Seltzer. That's, a, that's even better. <laughs> that's an insane name. Trung Van Seltzer. Wow. Jesus. Huh. All right, we'll take a few calls. <laughs> Richard M. Spoon. Jesus. Sounds so fucking... <laughs> oh, the Julie thing. Yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it Tuesday. Yeah. God, the Patriots stink, huh? Jesus. <sighs> Rooting for draft picks now. Yeah, uh, yeah. That is actually true. But it's not, you know... Well, Should they just bench Mac Jones now? Although I don't know, I don't get it. Like, he had a couple of good years. I don't understand what happened. It happens sometimes. I don't know. Maybe he's just not that guy. I mean, obviously he's not the guy. They have to. They have to move on now. I suppose. Too bad. I mean, it seems like it was. You know, he's one of these guys too. But they're making excuses. They go. It was, it was Matt Patricia's fault. But then they bring O'Brien, and he stinks. So it's like yeah, yeah, it's yeah. clearly we're at that point now. Well, he's worse this year than he was last. Yeah, he's regressed, which yeah. is wild. It was so close. I was, you know, a year, whatever it was, a year and a half ago, the end of that season, they went into Buffalo. They beat the Bills in Buffalo. That crazy night. Remember they didn't throw yeah. the ball, threw the ball once? Yeah. I think they were in, had the number, they controlled the number one seed destiny with like four weeks to go. Yeah. Since then, they've done nothing. Well, even like, but here's the thing though. Last, like they missed the playoffs last year, but they were in it. Yeah, they were okay. Of, yeah. They were, you they, know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's what I, that's why I don't understand this year where they're, they're so much five, worse. Right? They're, they're like a legitimately bad team. Yeah, they're terrible. Worst teams in the league. Yeah. I don't think Belichick's going to be back next year, which is crazy. Trung just often said, yes, that is him. Just often said yes? Authenticate, often. Go ahead. (laughs) Go ahead. Shut up, Coleman. (laughs) Why would you do that? I was going to say authenticated, but often. You still still won't be able to say it. I'm not going to be able to say it. He just did what? Give it a try. He confirmed that it is. No, 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 no. What did he do? What did he do? He he authenticated. Yep. He authenticated. (laughs) No, even that. I don't even know what it is. (laughs) (laughs) Wait. He what? Authenticated? What? Authenticated? I can't remember what the word is now. <laughs> See? Try it again. Oh, okay. I got it. I got it. Authenticate is the word. Sure. 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 No. Yep. Yes, no, it, it is. isn't. Yes, it is. He Go confirmed ahead. the authentic. No, he didn't. Oh. What did he do? He confirmed the phone. No. Nope. What did he do? Uh. What did he do? Authenticate. I don't know. I can't pronounce it. Go ahead. Give it a try. I just said authenticate. <laughs> All right. That's you. Trunk confirmed it. He, Trunk confirmed the photo. Okay. Is he okay with us tweeting out the picture? I'll ask right now. Okay. I mean, it's out there. Yeah. Yeah. I think. Trung. Trung Van Seltzer. Trung Van <laughs> That sounds Seltzer. like a sitcom, like if you're making up like, a, you know, uh, A.E. Pennypacker or something. Yeah, Trung <laughs> Van Seltzer. So that's wild. That's his last name. I guess it'd be his last name. Trung Seltzer. There he is. He's an employee of the state of Rhode Island. Yeah. Jesus. Trung Seltzer. That's very funny. It's an interesting name. You think they chose the first name? No, I don't <laughs> think so. <laughs> or is no, it like when you get a no. dog from a no. shoulder? <laughs> no. I'm feeling like it came with drunk. Yeah. They added the seltzer. That's, what I'm, that's interesting. <laughs> he looks like a nice guy, though. No. <laughs> nice guy? Great guy. Yeah, he seems like a nice guy. Had a good week this week, too. Saved us. Four points. He got married last year. Did he? 
It looks like there's Facebook page. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> Did he? I don't know. Oh, a muzzle. This, this is Augustus's best friend, by the way. <laughs> From Ojai, California. Yeah. Uh, you, that you know. No. <laughs> oh, why'd you say yes then? <laughs> Sounds like it's, it could be for him. I don't know. He's, he has lived a traveled life, I'm, I'm sure. How did he make his way to duck pin bowling? I have no clue. <laughs> That's a good question. Is his dad from New York or LA? I mean, I would imagine he says from Ohio. I imagine yeah. they grew up in California. Yeah. If he was out there doing that, I would think he'd be in California. If he's doing movies, movies like that, I would, I would think. But speaking of duck pin bowling. You're not getting that mic, Coleman. Go ahead. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Just speaking of duck pin bowling, I know you talked about doing a show from there. League mm. night is going to be tough because there's not a lot of space and it's loud. But... There are some guys who are interested and we could set up like a little mini tournament if any of anyone in, in this room even would want to join in and bowl during it. We could set that up. Yeah, give them mic. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Jesus Christ. Uh, we got calls loaded up. All right, let's go. Hello. Good God. I can't do five. No way. I'm doing five. Shows. No way. Hello. Hey, uh, Pelletier's raising Trung's kids. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know. I get it, but I don't even follow the, the thread, really. It might be true. Trung, <laughs> Trung's, Trung, a Trung, Trung's, Trung's a pimp. He's oh, a pimp. He's a pimp. Oh, no. Trung is pimping out kids, you're no. saying? You see, I, well, if it's no, true, well, these were he, separate he, thoughts. He's got a lot of swag. <laughs> oh, I got you. I got you. I'm sorry. I was confused. Pel, okay. pel, he, had, he had kids, and uh, he can't you know, he can't be tied down with kids, so Pelletier's raising them. Oh, oh. They're Trung's kids, you're saying. Well, we could get to the bottom of that on Tuesday, I guess. Exactly. Pelletier's here. Okay. Good, thank you. All right, thank you for the call. I didn't realize that. It was odd when he told me his oldest was Trung Jr. I didn't yeah. understand. <laughs> Trung Seltzer Jr. <laughs> Wouldn't it be John? Trung Seltzer Peltier. Trung Seltzer. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Kirk. Mm -hmm. If you uh, turned a line mic and Tim's chairs together, they could be camouflaged fucking each other missionary. I could see that. Yeah, I Meaning, suppose that's true. What? We're big fans of the background now. Harry is incorporating the background of the Kirk Minahan show. Harry? You can't say Harry? Or... Missionary fuck each other. Okay. All right. Thanks. All right, I, I I, what am I missing? What, I think you're camouflaged, but you're black with a black seat. I guess what okay, you're saying, Mike? Okay. All right. Gotcha. I don't know about Tim being camouflaged. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. I don't know. Interesting. Are they load up, Coleman? Yep. You can fuck right. if you want, though. Do you sure. think uh, you could get Portnoy? He's got mm -hmm. a good relationship with High Noons. Do you think we could get a Trunk, Trunk Seltzer, Seltzer on I the think market? We definitely could. <laughs> <laughs> I like I'd that. I'd buy that. Maybe a ne next summer's Brandon drink Walker of the year? <laughs> That's true. All right, brand that, which is good, then. Yeah, good point, Coleman. <laughs> Hello. I got a bone to pick. Go ahead. I'm not sure with who. Okay. So either Coleman fucked up by not listening to the last episode and hearing how shitty the... Uh, the microphones were, uh -huh. or you fucked up by not giving Gus your number, because I'm sure that Gus was listening because he has nothing else better to do. So who should I blame for the terrible audio, you or Coleman? In New York? Yes. John Rich yeah. is who you should blame. He's producing the show. Well, John Rich isn't your producer. You've he got pro two no, producers. No, no, no. He was producing. He was producing. Presumably. Did you have any audio issues when Jeff D. Lowe was producing the show? Well, no, but he's a competent okay. individual. John Rich is a heroin addict. Well, that's true. Well, that's a good point. Thanks for the call. Is that an annoying guy from Florida? No. Oh, that, I didn't think no, so. That no, that wasn't true. Also, I instantly knew during that show that something was off with All the right, mic. Go, go, go take Rancho. a victory lap around the... When we're done. You can go <laughs> take a victory lap around the neighborhood. Okay, we'll give you a medal. <laughs> well, good that did me. Wow. I love when people scream, I knew it when it's, after it's over. I knew it. By the, way, the last 20 minutes of that show, whoever came in, did Jeff come it's in Jeff, or something? Yeah. It sounded pristine. It was great. Jeff's a pro. Yeah. Jeff's a good producer. Hello. Hi, good evening, Kirk. This is Patrick J. Pespet. I'm calling on the Maine uh, Firefighters Federation looking for some donations for our fallen heroes. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, I got to do a big line of dope so I can keep talking to you before I fall off the face of the planet here. <laughs> I got the joke. It's uh, from telemarketers. Oh. Pat Pespis. Yeah, I'm lost. Your buddy Coleman there was looking for me. Coleman, I, I fell off the wagon. I did a bunch of fentanyl. I'm fucking dead, buddy. Yeah, I figured, man. Good, man. Good call. Go, go away. Go away. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's going to be such an uncomfortable feeling. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's just sitting at home alone right now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hey, guys. Rael Cormier here. How are you? Hello, Rael. Oh. 
Question for you. I, I, I was putting the kids to bed, so I may have missed it. Is there some Julie DeCaro audio, or is there some news about her? Yes. I love we'll play hearing team. about one we'll of the play. best athletes in the country. Well, oh, she is, yep. <laughs> yep. Great gymnast. As Mike always says, the one gymnast who Larry Nassar said, I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> um, we'll, we'll do it on Tuesday. Thank you. Of course, that's a joke. Well, it's on me. It's my, it's my catchphrase. Right. It's true. You can, you can have it. Yeah. They load up, I assume, Coleman? Yep. Right. Hello. Good evening. Good Sunday evening. Hey, hey, Kirk. Uh, quick question for you and for Mike. First okay. of all, thanks for the recommendation on the Warren Zane book. Terrific. It's been great. Yep. Um, what's a better song to you, Downbound Train or uh, Stolen Car? Oh, my God. My God. If I listen to one song for the rest of my life, I would probably go with the Downbound Train live version from 03. But Stolen yeah, Car is a great song. Good. I'm not done. I'm not done thinking. Shut the fuck up. I'm not done thinking yet. Sorry. It's okay. God, that's a tough question. I'm trying to remember the letters I wrote. I'm going to say Stolen Car. It's very close. They're both in my top 50. Okay, good. Yeah. Um, great question. Cool. Yeah, good move. No one wants to ask my question. Okay, good. <laughs> Click. I think, shot, I think he shot himself, actually. I'm curious. What's two songs I was going to get to choose from? It's a good question. <laughs> That's my bad. I thought he was rapping on that. No, one. but we we did everyone a favor. It's be some comedy question, I'm sure. Blindmike.net though, go subscribe, please, right now. Thank you. Yes, new show up tomorrow. Yes. If you don't think of a uh, comedy discussion with such disgust that you just heard, <laughs> <laughs> then come check out why you left. Wait, you award my friend John Melendez. So I mean, you know. Well, I end. Yes, he's backing out of former his, guest uh, of mine. Uh, Another me guest, I believe, right? I know. I'm willing to go to war with you if we have to. We can get him on. Although I think he freaked out on me too, didn't he, for something or? Well, no, he. I prank called him. Oh, and right, right. He's like, I, I liked Kirk. Why is he coming after me? Right, but yeah. I, I, it's yeah, almost he, like he's crazy. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> he was he was genuinely very, even though on purpose all the time, very funny on Stern though. Yes. Like amazingly, that character was um, fucking amazing on Stern. He was great, and, and he'll tell you. <laughs> yeah, oh, I, know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. But I'm just saying, God, was he funny? Hello. Hi, I got a question for Coleman. Sure, one question. One question. So, um, one minute, I'm sorry. One moment. And he was also the fucking uh, announcer on The Tonight Show when it actually mattered. Weird. <laughs> like, millions of people watching it. Did he have any sort of impact there? I don't know anything he did with The Tonight Show. And, no. like, all the people that shit on him down Grand say he did nothing there. But I'm genuinely asking, like, did he do anything? <clears throat> Not really. Did you ever listen to when they played the... He did a trial for it and recorded it at the show. Oh, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. The great. man Nicholas just gave the N-word and yeah. uh, Nicholas Cage's name. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why would you choose those names to say? It's also funny. He had 90 stars as, like, the guest that night, too. He was like, you know. Pamela Anderson. Pamela Anderson. Harrison Ford. He had, like, 50 different Greg stars. Greg Giraldo. <laughs> yeah. uh, go ahead. You have a question for Coleman. Yes. Uh, Coleman, you said you are re-listening the old episode. Yes. I was curious what your strategy is. How many hours a day you are? What mm. episodes you're picking to listen to? Mm -hmm. What's your uh, yeah? What's your I mean, go -to for in, that? in general, this is how I am with like TV shows too. I'd like to just go from the top and go through. I can't bounce around. That's not really. I, it's not OCD, but to me, I just can't physically do that. When Where is John Stewart? I'm looking down. A, uh, it's in the, the side room right oh, there. Oh, we can get him in here. We can move him back in. Right, um, Tim Tim's the only who gave us the picture. Yes. You get it back when the show's over. I was going to kick a wow. fucking hole in that thing. If you I didn't make that know. top 50, baby, <laughs> I was going to come in here and kick a hole right in his fucking face. <laughs> you should just take it home with you. You guys don't deserve this. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be taking this. <laughs> was, John, was John Stewart just a call? No, he, he, call, he used to call late at night when Steve was a producer too, right? Meaning what? I'm saying he wasn't just a Dave. It wasn't just during the Dave run, John Oh, Stewart. oh, no, no, no. He's, no. He was at the first Madawaska. He was at uh, the vigil. No, no. He was yeah, at the vigil. no, he no, was it, at the first Metal Yes, when he you was at the stood vigil. up, uh, when you went up on the porch. He's at that's Travis's how we house. met him as the Tony Stewart guy. Yeah, oh, that's right. He had the jacket on. Yeah, he was asking he, me he about my house. Asked random question about water or something. How he the hell did he get up there? That's crazy. I can't picture him driving up there. He, he he was asking me about my health insurance. I remember. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember saying, "This is the craziest looking fucking guy here." Just where my wife was in civil planning, like him and her always like gravitated towards each other and he was so interesting like, he was he was at the vigil for sure so that's the first time i met him it is yep. amazing the amount of time we spent this summer
traveling to Madawaska for that audio that nobody will ever hear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? It's just gone forever now. <laughs> I didn't even like, think of that. It's like, just, remember how long it took us to film in that restaurant? <laughs> how many takes how we many did? How many takes? <laughs> Poor Mike, I, I, two pages of dialogue. You didn't know a fucking, you couldn't, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't read you couldn't it. Memorize it. <laughs> <You can't read. laughs> we were going to go line by, I didn't blame him, but we go line like just hustling around and being like, I was like, this is fucking great. I fucking nailed it. <laughs> Jesus. Go ahead, caller. I'm sorry. <laughs> and I, I've said about that, I wished you just did, like before the show, I said, I wish you just made that two hours and just showed the movie. Because it was so good. I thought it was so good. Uh, it was good. great. It was <laughs> great. No one will see it. No one will ever see it. <laughs> uh, go ahead, caller. <sighs> um, I think it was just, you wanted to know about my re-listening. I, oh. I just do it in the cars sometimes on the way here some mornings. Yeah. I'm currently at your first time in the Barstool office. Oh, uh, I remember that. Yeah, it was 2019 in... Were you there, Mike? Yes. December, maybe? I wasn't with you. Might have been but... December. Oh, yeah. oh, you you mean when me and Steve were with him, too? Yes. Oh, yeah, that was, that, was like, that, that, that was October. When uh, you were supposed to do the cooking show. Was that Oh, alone? my God. Yeah, that was, that. That was, do it. That's what October was looking like. With that's Sean. what we scheduled. Yes, yes <laughs> yeah. that's right. That's right. With Sean Latham? Yes. Yeah. 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 Jesus Christ. Nice guy. Hello. I wonder what he's doing. I don't know. He left, right? Yeah. He's, he's a comic. I've, he was I've, a McAfee guy, wasn't he? Um, Not sure, actually. I, I, know, I thought he had beef with like Chef Donnie or something. Well, I mean, he stayed long after McAfee. No, I know, but I think he went in with him, I thought. Maybe. I don't know. It was a big surprise that McAfee's paying Aaron Rodgers. Like, why was that a story? No shit. He sucks him off and, like, he gets a ton of that. I mean, ton of publicity for it. Was Brady paid? Brady was paid, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess. So that, yeah, that's like why. $500,000 a year, I think. Well, that's why I'm like, why? I don't. Yeah. Why is it news? It does, don't people yeah, do that? Like, yeah. Does anybody think it's journalism? <laughs> right. <laughs> Stupid. Hello. Kirk, John Sears from the Keg House. How hey, are you? Hey, John. how are you? Uh, I'm good. I heard a caller last week uh, into the show in New York, uh, Allison, claiming to be such a big... Oh, I enjoyed that. A good 90210 discussion. That's a right. lively 90210 discussion, yes. It was, except she can be exposed for not being a fan, oh, simply because, yeah. number one, the episode she referenced, which you so greatly at the end of it, had the Ray Pruitt line where he calls Valerie that bitch. bitch yeah. She referred to it. As a bad episode. Do you know what else happens in that episode for her to call it a bad episode? Num number one, Brandon, uh, Steve, they film like a porno. Porno with that, like yeah. The, yeah the, the pizza, the Steve plays a pizza number delivery guy, yeah. Yes, yeah. and he, you know, he hooks up with Susan for the first time. I'd say somewhat interesting. The other thing that happens. I was a Keats. Episode, I was a Susan Keats guy. Oh, I was too. Yeah. Uh, well, I was. Out well, I didn't know that, John. I know you guys but, really. I never saw you guys together. Yeah. <laughs> The one other thing that happens in that episode, Dylan and Tony Marchette are table to table, gun to gun. Yeah, that is and awesome. And she thinks that's a bad episode. That's that's a knock on her. Yeah. You're right. She's got the, her bona fides have to step up because he's he has a great look because he's like a gentleman. You know, he's basically insulted. They didn't think he'd come prepared as well. He has the gun ready. Right. Yes. And you know what the second knock on Allison is? Oh, good. Her name's Allison. Do we know who Do we know who Allison is? Allison is the lesbian with Kelly in the fire. Do you know what type of person Allison is? Horrible human being because oh, okay. she's at that party. She ditches her girlfriend she does. to dance with Claire. Yeah. Yeah. And then she's upset. The only reason she's in that room with Kelly is because she's trying to make her girlfriend jealous. And then, you know, obviously the burn marks happen. I feel right. bad for They really last for Kelly. And then but she yeah. leaves. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have a show to run. Uh, you know, and then she leaves her girlfriend because she's in love with Kelly. Kelly yeah. And, you know. David can't keep his mouth shut in Palm Springs. No, and Brandon, Brandon was drunk. The pool yeah, goes, was Allison, Allison, yeah. Allison. But yeah. you know, for her to say that that was a bad episode. You're right, John. No, John. John, John you're right. Long, long ways. Get, thank you, John, for calling. You're right. Thank you, John. Yeah, I can't argue with that. She needs to step up next time. That's a good episode. I'm glad Allison got to come up and see her. <laughs> she deserved it, frankly. <laughs> time. Circle back. Just that's to... a good episode. I, I, yeah, I hadn't <laughs> that's thought of why. That. I haven't seen it, but I, I am kind of intrigued. Nine zero two one zero. You know, it started. What year were you born? 2000. When in 2000? That's crazy. February of 2000. <laughs> it was in its last season oh when you God. were born. So maybe, I'm, I'm thinking I'd give it a watch. I'm a, I'm a fan of some rom-com chick flicks type Well, this is odd. Okay, no, this is not a chick flick. <laughs> well, no, some, 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 some of that, gay though. lady stuff. No, yeah, not okay. at all. Not at all. <laughs> some sissy. That's, that's uh, what the vibe seemed like <laughs> from, from some of the calls that I had heard. Take the calls. <laughs> watch whatever show you want. Hello. I'm going to watch it. 207. 
I'm friends with Jason Priestley, so it's complicated now. And James Eckhouse. And course. James Eckhouse. That's true, yeah. Eckhouse should be in the top 50. Christ. <laughs> Hello. Hey, Kirk. Hey, Mike. Kim, Russ Coleman, it's racist JJ here. Mm. <laughs> hey, guys, this and you're, uh, you're, it doesn't fit right. I can buy it, JJ. <laughs> Keep it together, JJ. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny the other day. What did JJ say? He's like, uh, when he called me, he's like, you're not. Like, uh, I know comedy, you're more into comedy stuff. Comedy boy? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Got a real issue to discuss here. <laughs> yeah, hello. Hello, Kirk. Heard yeah. you on BO Boys. Time for the swing factor. Okay. In honor of Suzanne Summers, what's the, oh. what's the swing factor? Mm. <laughs> I like these guys. Oh. <laughs> Su- Suzanne Summers was awesome. She had tremendous natural breasts in the late 70s, like, and she wouldn't wear a bra on the show, and I would pause the, the VCR and masturbate to it. I mean, that's the nicest tribute I can give somebody when they die. <laughs> I do that my mom's eulogy, same yeah. thing. Like, you just, you know, it's, there's just, she just had it, you know, she had it. T- so that someone said her peak was legitimately a 10 out of 10 in my mind. I was a 10 dumb. out of 10. I'll say it again. I was attracted to her on Step by Step, even in her yeah. latter years. No mm-hmm. Artie Spooner, but she was, she was good. Well, sure. Yeah. Any, any romance for Artie Spooner on that show? Oh, yes. Yeah. With, guess who? No points deducted for that bush. <laughs> no, it's found the bush. Uh, uh, hmm. Oh, uh, Estelle Harris? And Mira. Oh, how nice. Yes, Pitch how Spence's nice. mom. How nice. Yes. Full circle. That's that right. makes sense, I guess. Hello. Ben, ben Stiller. <laughs> was he ever on? In a flashback, played a young... Arthur's father. <laughs> oh, he didn't play him in the flashback. Played no. his dad. Yes. Wow. And I, Dewey from Malcolm in the Middle was playing Arthur, young Arthur. Oh, it should have been a show, young Arthur. If only. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we're not done yet. Dare, dare to dream. <laughs> yeah, dream. You dream big. Wow. I, don't, I don't have those kind of thoughts. Ben Stiller doing TV bag. Unusual. Although he did uh, Tony Wonder as well. Rest yeah. of the Velvet. And it was a brief cameo. Yeah. That was a funny Rest of the Velvet. Hello. Yes. Quick question. I was wondering who do you think should think will take the belt off of Roman Reigns? Hmm. All right. Thanks for the call. That call cost 42 cents. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Should Harry and I were discussing this not that long ago because he's been champion now, Mike, for over a thousand days. Wow, um, is that a lot? Yes. I mean, I know how many days it is, but it, in wrestling terms, I mean, yes, of course. Okay, it's like Jared Crabbe's head of the table. All right. Uh, should I want to tell you who's going to take the title away from him? No, that's not true. I don't think that's true. I feel like there's nobody in that company right now who can take the... I, I don't see it. Bob Backlund. Mm, I do like Bob Backlund. I don't think he can do it. I don't think The Rock makes sense for like a one-off to do that. That's bad. That'd be bad. You shouldn't lose to a guy who's not really in the company. I don't know yet. I hate to give you that answer, but I don't know. Ask Brandon. He would know. Hello. 614. Hello? 614. Hey. Hey, hey, Kirk, how you doing? Fine, thank you. Good evening. Hey, uh, so I'm a long-time listener, and I've been meaning to ask you, you are a loyalty guy, right? I suppose. Yeah, so, I, you know, I, since two, uh, 2018, when you left Kirk, um, Kirk D. Callahan, mm-hmm. you, you were upset with uh, Jerry. And mm-hmm. you, Jerry went with you. Uh, full board and said, hey, we're going to do this together. Where would you guys be right now? Would you have left them in the dust or would you be at Barstool? Have you ever given that any thought? Because I feel you really were upset at him. Yeah. For not, like, timely you question. Saw. I would say, <laughs> thanks for the call. Uh, well, timely call, I'm uh, It's okay, buddy. Uh, no, thanks for the call. Um, I, don't, I don't know. It's fair. It's fair in that I was already thinking of leaving anyway. I was already kind of bored of doing Kirk and Callahan at that time. I think that's fair. We were going in two different directions. So Is that true? Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you listen to the show, I mean, there were times where I was like, I don't want to fucking... But I don't know if you're thinking back saying, like, I probably would have left or oh, if I was, you legitimately no, thought... I was frustrated with the direction of the show anyway. Yeah. And Jerry wanted to do a different show, but that wasn't more of a loyalty thing. That was just more of a philosophical thing. Sure. I think we would have figured it out, but I, there's no way we'd be doing a show that... I mean, 
look at the two of us. No chance we'd be doing this show together now. Yeah, but when you were on air together, you never really fought. I remember you guys talking about that, that you didn't really yeah, have, we, like, fights. Didn't fight, but he, I ran the show, but I think he wanted to do more of the sports stuff. And, and by the way, once the mandates started coming down, it didn't matter anyway. Jerry was happy to comply, and I didn't want to. Mm. We've been over it a million times. You know, I don't, sure. I'll knock on Jerry. Um, but, yeah. So, I, no, no, no way. No. Hello. And Dave and I have been talking for, a, you know, probably a year or two at that point. Portnoy. Cool. Yeah, I'll give it to him. Cool, Coleman, I'm not Coleman. doing this. <laughs> <for you. laughs> the deal, we were dealing behind the scenes. <laughs> That'd be great. Coleman, I'm not dealing with style choices. Today? What do you mean? What do you got, Coleman? Let me see. You got yeah, a little like flannel, the un- little jeans. The untucked. That was a real flannel yeah, like fucking room back there. Sloppy. Look at that. Not bad. This shirt brought to you by Milton's. Very nice. Yeah. Milton's.com. There you go. Store for men. Coleman's ever been there. He's too good for Milton's. Oh, excited to go. Do we have anything set up yet, Gus, or no? You've given a relationship with these people. You've been crawling around the malls. I, I, I still don't have Bill's number, probably good. for good. very good. smart <laughs> reasons. Good. Very smart reasons. How's your new phone? Good. Good. Okay, good. You paid your mom back yet? Uh, Not totally yet, until I'm waiting for my first paycheck from here, which... It should be soon, right? I haven't gotten any, inf- like, no emails about onboarding or anything for Nothing? Me. Nothing. Have you, Coleman? I had like a slight email, but nothing in terms of like a contract sent or anything. What the fuck? I talked to these people in New York last week. Yeah, All right, I'll, I'll check up again tomorrow. We should be fine. But I'll, I'll double check tomorrow. Yeah, it's not a great fashion. You're right, caller. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. Who doesn't say that Josh, the producer, doesn't, uh, the intern doesn't contribute? He just tweeted at me. It should be Cody Rhodes who takes the title off Roman Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> like I said, you couldn't play him in poker. And he listens. He's yeah, proving he, he listens. It's true. Can't get a read. God, hello. Oh, well. <laughs> can't believe he's not banging this broad, but this, <laughs> this, this kind of takes. Date 46. Hello. Hello. Mm. Saturday night. Orange chicken with rice. Was it really? Yeah. All right. Thanks for the call. Good talking to you. Fuck yeah. out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> That's all I got for now. All right. Thanks for the calls. Calls. Jesus. All right, promote away again, Tim. Let, 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 let the people know. Uh, it's fine is documentary. Year of the Rat. Year two, of the Rat. 2024 on Instagram and YouTube. Uh, we have a long form trailer. It's about six minutes. Yep, and I saw a it. Teaser. Um, yeah. Very, very much looking forward to finishing and telling Shane's story. Excellent. There you go. Mike by Mike.net. Fire away. Thank you. Yes. Well, I don't want to set you off for another hour, but there's a well, new always, episode of Why You Laughing <laughs> coming out oh, soon. Geez, I want to go to bed. <laughs> oh, God. You know what? Let the talks, let the calls begin again. People want to talk about it. It's on, uh, for Patreon and YouTube members right now, uh, Andy Kaufman is up, and that'll be out free on Definitely Thursday. not one of my favorites. Um, I think uh, we talked a lot about how he did a lot for uh, weirdness and com- like yeah, for, oh, pu- oh, for sure. Push boundaries and being weird for sure. And we also talked a lot about how the movie kind of painted him as a like Jim Carrey's portrayal painted him as a maniac. When at the end of the day, he like people in his life liked him. If you talk to people at Taxi, like other than one or two people, they were all like he was pretty nice. Tony Danza was like we got we didn't get along at first. He was no, difficult to work with, but like yeah. overall, I liked him. Yeah, it was like a little yeah. It was where they made it seem like he was this menace on the set. Right. You right. know, yeah, I didn't love that movie. I liked it a lot, but if I saw it now, I don't think I'd like. Like I, I liked. It. Did you watch that documentary or no? Yeah, it was very annoying. Oh, Car- Jim Carrey is annoying now. He's very yeah. The the he, when he I like Jim Carrey when he like, he did Norm Show and they're just talking comedy. Right, he's good then. And he was yeah. in the Comedy Cellar documentary. Like right. when he's in comedian mode, he's I like fine. him a lot. Yeah. When he's in actor mode, he's insufferable. Yeah. Remember we talking about Will Smith? He was like almost crying. A strange guy. <laughs> yeah, he's a weird. Very strange weird guy. Dude. That's a good topic for sure. What's up next? Do we know? Uh, yeah. I believe a gentleman named Dan Ninen. The mystery of Dan Ninen. Okay. He's a guy. He he's big in like um what do you call it? Uh, corporate cert. Like he gets a lot oh, of corporate gigs yeah. and shit. Good life. But he wanted to be like respected as a comedian. So he would like, he would harass Robert Schimmel and Russell Peters and Mark <laughs> Marin, yeah, yeah. like to try and get like different gigs and stuff. He's, it's a fascinating story. So we'll, he's okay. an unknown guy, but we'll be talking about that. Excellent. Uh, we will talk about that with John Pelletier on Tuesday. Oh, good. Probably many thoughts on that, I would think. It's weird. The last time I saw John Pelletier was so ominous. It's going to be weird to see him it's on true. Tuesday. <laughs> He'll do his usual thing. You don't know what the fuck's going on. So we, we know, who, do we know any of the guests this week other than Montante? Uh, Pat Ford said he could come in if needed for, on one of the days. What, really? Did yeah. He? Wow. Just, who is that? 
It's <laughs> he was in here like two weeks ago. Who is that? Dr. Ford. Dr. Ford, the one with the list of the tweets that was like I harped on and you said he was not real. But Everyone's he, been clamoring real? for a comeback for him. I don't know who that is. He was, he was here? here, yeah. Yeah. Which one is he? He's uh He had the list of um their their tweets during the producer. Oh, like the like the stats. Yes. Sort of. yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's a nice guy. Yeah. yeah. Right, I mean, okay. <laughs> um, he's that Gus, but okay. <laughs> I th I think we were trying to reach out to get Will for a Friday, if we were doing a Friday show, he said he's available then. That will will on Friday would be great. Yeah, I'm still I'm still very curious to hear from him post. Everything, <sighs> Feels like you know? somebody was saying to me at Surviving Barstool that somebody random too. Who was it? Not like that. He was just looking for anywhere at Barstool kind of thing. Yeah, and we happened yeah. to be at the right place at the but, right but time. But I I think he Which likes not a penalty. I think yeah. he likes the show. I but I think he probably likes it as much as he also likes the yak or chiclets something. and whatever the yeah, fuck. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. That's not a penalty. I'm just saying somebody mentioned that. Um, okay, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, what 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 goes? I was going to even say also John from Scranton potentially on Thursday as well if you wanted someone with Montante. Okay, don't excite me. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm going to try and sleep tonight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Top 10 list. Jesus I already gave him the Christ. why are you laughing tease. The man can't what, take anymore. <laughs> <laughs> did we talk about, did you ever watch that Rickles thing that dinner with Don that he did when he was older? That sounds very familiar. It's kind of sad. He's kind of old sounding, but he's old. He's very old. He's Scorsese so. in the Euro so. episode with him. Okay. And Paul Rudd's in the episode with him. And like Rudd is super excited to be with him. Yeah. And he's like nervous and he's stammering and he's stammering. And Rickles is still old, but he still kind of has it. He's yapping and yapping about some story. There's a pause and Rickles goes, you're alone a lot, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> this is very great timing. That's great. This is great timing. <laughs> uh, so, boy, so John from Scranton and Pat Ford this week. Oh, wow. <laughs> boy. Really, well, hey, really burning it up the John week. John from Scranton <laughs> was a maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I feel like Johnny Carson in 82. Wow. We can, we can get Pat Ford. And we, might, we might win the weekly. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Any other big ideas, Gus? I mean, we, we were talking some merch stuff before the show because yeah. I know I saw some I of the classics like, going on. I have a feeling we're going to have to probably push this a little bit this year with Dave back in charge. We'll probably do a, a push around, which, which I'm going to call it. Uh, Black Friday? Thanksgiving, yeah. yeah. I've Was seen a like, few people request the hat that I have. I don't know what happened to it on the website. It is, it is a nice hat. Is it? Uh, the what, the what white hat, hat that I wear in here sure. sometimes? Yeah, well, I mean. People requested that. I think we should probably bring some classics back. Sure. I think people love that original gray sweatshirt. I know that. I did. Yes. Um, so we'll do stuff like that. I don't think I... I found we get super creative, like, uh, you know, I was talking to somebody, again, in New York about this, where it's like, you spend all this time, I forget what it was, they were saying, you sell like six shirts, you know, yeah. it's like, oh, what does it matter? Well, I don't like, I have a, like podcast t-shirts and shit, but mm -hmm. it's just like the logo of the shirt. Right. I don't, I don't, I don't want like catchphrases or wacky pictures or anything. I mean, would I buy a Trung Seltzer shirt? I would. <laughs> okay, that's, that's different. That's I'm idea. buying a Trung oh Seltzer God. shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah if it's absolutely. a picture, if it's that picture of Trung as a kid with his dad, <laughs> and it says Trung Seltzer underneath, I would buy that shirt. <laughs> On a that shirt we might have to do. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Trung looking like Damien from the home. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that, that, that I'll buy. I take it yeah. back. <laughs> I just like Trung Seltzer, family picture above it, KMS on the back or whatever, who cares? That shirt I would do. If, Tr I mean, if Trung's okay with it. I, I, well, I, I'll talk to him on Tuesday. I think these are easier conversations for him in person. He's not the best texter amongst the group. You think he's just way better in person? I mean, it's just easier to, easier to... I mean, we could bring him in studio. I could see what, what days... I could bring him in oh, one day. Okay, take it easy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Why are you so nervous tonight? I'm not nervous. You seem... No, am I wrong? He does seem nervous. And I, I, this might mean nothing to you, but yeah. pe a lot of people in the audience will be floored by this. That Andrew said he takes 500 milligrams of edibles. Not regularly. What, a day? No, not at all. Not a day, just like on special occasions. You said not at all. That's a lot. That, well, it is a lot. Yes, like, 500 milligrams I was of edibles even I is know a, that's lot. a lot. That's okay, a huge yeah, I didn't, yeah, I didn't know. I, can, I, I understand dose. it's a lot, but it's not like Why I do. Why don't you? The last time just, I did it was on the live show. Just for the hell. What? Our show, this last show? The Plymouth one. The Plymouth live show. When so you I, all fucked up for that? No, I remember everything perfectly from it. I was fine. Ask Tim. I was, I was coherent and had great conversations. All right. Before the show Tuesday. You will take 500. You'll get it. Yes. Okay? Yes. Yes. Okay. yes. <laughs> but we have to see you do it to start the show. Oh, then it won't hit until like. Oh, okay. It, well, I have. If I'm going to well, take Well, me it, and Coleman will be here. If, or whatever. If, well, how, when will it hit? Can you drive after that? The show? Home? I'll, I'll drive him if need yeah. be. Okay. If it's that bad. Uh, yeah, 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 I'll, I'll get him an Uber for that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Worth it. Right. You're fine with that? Interesting. All right. 
Yes. I've done it before. Okay, that's fine. I've bowled with it before. Well, no, he fine. came up to me before the Plymouth. He goes, hey. Did he seem fine or Well, no? just out of nowhere, he goes, like, hey, like 500 milligrams of edibles. I kissed him on the cheek and told him good luck, and I just walked off. What like, are you texting? Godspeed, son. He's a dealer. <laughs> <laughs> what are you texting? I'm not texting anyone. I was just clearing up uh, some stuff from Josh. He's been sending in clips the whole way. We're, we're firing like this what? off. Cody like, Rhodes. We got a top 10. We get the top 10 list of guitarists that's about to go out. The true top 10 list of guitarists, as I like to go say. Uh, he's got, he, he pulled them on <laughs> time. Take the There's a feather in your cap there. It's <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> Just, I do like to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, you idiot. What else? No, just uh, just. Boy, it sounds like you guys are really firing things back and forth. You're right. Wow, duck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> he sent me. Well, I'm trying to listen to it live while listening to the show live. So it's <laughs> a lot of multitasking happening. I think one, two, three. You can't read the text. <laughs> no, they're not texts. They're videos. They're actual clips. Like what? Like this. Uh, to uh, uh, my okay, friends. I want to hear myself. I want to hear myself. Yeah. So it's just all these different clips from it. So we have start firing these things off. Okay. Nice. Great. It's a win for us. How lucky for the fucking followers on Twitter. <laughs> Jesus. Firing things. Is I, is it, what do you say? Is I like to call it? The, top, <laughs> the, the real top 10, as I like to call it. The real top 10. <laughs> you pussies at Rolling Stone. <laughs> you put Zarnia on the cover again, you homos. We got a real list here. Pussy boys. Finally, we've taken down Rolling Stone. <laughs> yeah. You have that transgender guitarist number eight? No. no. <laughs> Gene Page, so. Rock and fucking roll. <sighs> Jesus Christ. All right, anyway, uh, Milton's.com, of course. Go to three great locations. We'll be there, I think, next week, I'm going to say. Ask next Tim week. if he knows where they are. Tim, do you know the three locations for Milton's? Chestnut Hill. Yep. Uh, Cell Shore. Yep. Plaza and Burlington. Damn. Yeah, I knew he Damn. Would know he, Tim, no, well, here's the, pro, here's the thing, and I'm curious how you feel about this. He was struggling before the show. He couldn't remember the third location. Augustus told him. Oh, oh. Gus, come on. I, I mean, I, I could have Googled it, but I was just kind of like, I need to, I need to at make At first sure. I gave him a hint. I'm like, it's the one I crawled around at. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> sure. We do our Milton shopping on Milton's.com. They have incredible clearance sales. And they sure do. Really great, just great closeouts. They do. Stuff, I'll so. be there next week. Uh, Gus will be there. Coleman will be there. Mike will be there. Sure. Anybody else? Who else will be drag on? Justin? Them? You said Justin. Justin's originally. always welcome there. Yeah. And yeah, we'll bring Josh too. Nice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Sure, why not? Well, I guess I won't get a word in edgewise. No. <laughs> but he's going to take 500 milligrams <laughs> as much as me. <laughs> well, I think we need, I think Mil, I don't want to be too provocative. I don't know if Milton's, but I think we need Josh to, uh, Milton to him get across the finish line. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, yes. Definitely. Yeah. Without a doubt. That, yeah. That'll seal the deal. And then you get a belt and a tire up with it, right, man? Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't it be wild if Josh's on, like, date 15? <laughs> and he's like, no, still chipping away. <laughs> the elder hand her in the movie. <laughs> She's, I think she's stringing along. I, I got an update from Josh about this. What's that? Uh, let me pull it up here. This is some video he's sending now. Whoa. <laughs> no, <it's not> a... <laughs> yeah, you pussies thought I couldn't close. I like to call this the best sex tape they've ever had. <laughs> he goes, I said, how are things with the lady going? And he goes, actually pretty good. Just got a new apartment, so things should be more smoother now. Ooh. 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 Shaving them, shaving like his privates, he's saying? Yeah. Right. Manscaped. He sure. can do his own bag. Oh, okay. Huh. More smoother now. Yes. Yeah. So the two of you just text stupidly to each other. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I want, I mean, it was a topic of the show about his dating life. We had a couple ideas if that went south of options that could happen. So what the fuck are you fucking, you're like worse than Colony. What are you talking so about? So we were, before Josh was. We, I understand he's in a really, he's dating this woman right now. Yes. So you're saying if the relationship breaks, you, do you have like a win a date with Josh thing or something? Not necessarily win a date with Josh. What? It was going to be using Coleman's connection of having Kaylee Gunner to help him get laid and okay, see what he could do. do we're not that. doing that. Okay. It's <laughs> fucking it's, 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 not a, <laughs> it's not a process. It's just advice. That was a very strong we for an eye. <laughs> <laughs> That's Coleman's. It's a Coleman deal for him, but you know what Gus can do for him? A little DVD of the Omen. <laughs> <laughs> well, Signed. The Omen. Signed. Signed. By the Omen, I mean the Omen Four. And then I also got Justin texting Signed. me saying I need to mention Green Eyes because he David thinks Green Eyes is a movie about Trung. What is Green Eyes? Produced by David Seltzer. Okay, go is ahead. about a young Vietnamese boy who was adopted. Wait a minute. Are you just, just, Justin, just sent, Justin just sent me the Wikipedia for it. Justin is well, working I'm, hard on hold this episode. On. I got a second. He sent to me. Green Eyes is a 1977. Mike would have a different title instead of Green for Eyes there, but he's racist. It's a 1977 made for television war drama film written by John Erm, directed by John Ehrman, who uh, I believe directed some of the episodes of Roots, if you can look that up, Gus. I believe. Holy shit. Uh, and written by Eugene Logan and David Seltzer. It is a touching and moving story about a Vietnam veteran 
who went through a soul-searching journey plot. Lloyd Dubeck, Paul Winfield, a good actor, who I believe is dead, uh, uh, is a Vietnam veteran wounded both physically and psychologically. Uh, Instead, Lloyd decides to return to Saigon to search for a Vietnamese woman whom, with whom he fathered a child he's never seen. The only thing he knows about this child, thanks to a single letter, is that it's a boy who loves duck pinball. <laughs> wow, this is on target. <laughs> yeah, they didn't stray from reality too much. <laughs> What's that called? Doesn't mind Portuguese people and loves bowling. I, I was really just confirming the roots thing. But Am I right about that or no? Uh, one episode, uh, episode two. Is that strange? I, I shouldn't know. That's, That's a bizarre like, distinction. Wild. No, Wait, his yeah. dad wrote an episode of Roots? No, this guy no. Who directed this fucking TV movie. I knew his name from directing the episode. That's very strange. Why do I know that? Holy there's, there's shit. No re- there's no reason I know that. <laughs> Uh, during the so yeah, it's basically about a guy and who brings a child back from Vietnam. Wow, wow. Jesus. But I thought it said father to child. This is not yeah, an no, but it, no, but it's still yeah, yeah. Hmm. Huh? Maybe there's something we don't know. My God, my God. I guess. Jeez, I don't know. Um, that's crazy. If it's, I, I think I have to watch this movie now. It's so funny that so much, trunk so much shit's <laughs> happened in the show in the last like week, and uh, we're just talking about trunk. <laughs> the calls crazy. are done. We're late night talking trunk. Name of the kid in the movie is Tran Vodka. I mean, that's, <laughs> that seems to me to be insane. I don't even understand. <laughs> they really didn't leave a lot of. Uh... No, what the hell? Jesus. <laughs> So Justin thinks this is about our guy, the trunkster. Yeah. Can you t- can you trunkster. text Trung about that or no? I, I, I'll try. I know we've had the Trump caller. We probably don't need the Trung caller. No, I'm just going to do it. Got Gus like that one, Mike. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I kind of want to just fast forward to a year from now where you're like, we're done with Trump. Or like, <laughs> he's, an, he's an enemy. Fuck him. What's what do you want me to do? We did, we did two fucking live shows in Vietnam. What the fuck else do you want? He took a shit he's, in the bathroom. What else do you want? I, and I knew it from the beginning. Trung's just one of these guys that hates the show. Now. Here we go with Trung. Right now. He uh, backed Cole, out of the me, wedding. Cole, man, give me the sound of fucking Trung on my camera. This fucking guy. Trung's I know. going to see a movie every day for a year in the theater. <laughs> I called, I had green eyes, one of my niche questions for the movie, and he wouldn't fucking answer the question. Fuck him. Uh, oh, Jesus Christ. Did you text him about the movie? I did. No response yet. It might be past his bedtime. Oh, is that true? He's an early, early the bed guy? I, I could only assume. I'm watching this movie. Is it on YouTube? Sometimes they have these old movies on YouTube. Green eyes. Gus has made a lot of wrong assumptions about this guy so far. He no, just surprises yeah, yeah, us at every yeah, turn. Yeah, no. <laughs> he's Korean, independently wealthy. <laughs> Green eyes. Movie. 1977. Oh, hell yeah. It's up. It's available on YouTube. The full fucking thing. We'll have to do a viewing. Oh, man. 1977. This can be our new uh, Bob Hart's uh, Bishol. I'm going to watch this. <laughs> See, I get that reference. Let's go. Yeah, you're around for that. Yeah, cool. yeah, yeah reference. You know? Let's go. <laughs> oh, God. All right. All right. Well, Tim, thank you very much. You're welcome here anytime. Thank you. I appreciate Mike, it. Mike, I will uh, make sure and go go to that. One more time. Give me the... Uh... Blood Mike Dutton. Not oh, you, you idiot. Oh, the other one. Fuck <laughs> off, Mike. You go to Patreon. Year <laughs> of the Rat 2024 <laughs> on <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> did you say my name? I swear you did. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Buy Mike Dutton. Go subscribe. <laughs> Just go to Blind Mike Dutton. Fuck it all. God, God almighty. <laughs> Jesus Christ. God, what is it? Year of the Rat.com? Uh, year of the Rat 2024 on Instagram and YouTube. You can watch the trailers and uh, read the story. Would you rather watch that or Green Eyes? Uh, let's, be, let's be honest. I'm going Green Eyes. I'm going to try to watch it on my way home. Should Trung is your next documentary subject. I, I, was, I was looking for... Okay, Trung a qu- quick thing, two seconds. <laughs> no one ever in the history of candle pin or duck pin bowling mm-hmm. has bowled a perfect game. Now, the guy Paul that... Paul McHugh's his eight-year-old. The guy that started what off. You say that? <laughs> what? What eight year old? Did you say something. Remember the other day you kept bringing up some name of some kid who oh, was yes. supposedly bold. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, a child did it. Yeah. yeah. Did yeah. he say that or not? Yeah. He's I'm not saying you're molesting anybody. I think it was just in general. Cold won't stop talking about this. He's always showing pictures of eight year olds. Oh, they're yeah. so tight and yeah. firm. Look how young he is. Well, yeah. Trung's going to be my answer. So, like, if you had someone who was independently wealthy that could take 365 days, because I mean. Just teach him how to do it? No, no, no. Just bowl a perfect game. 
right. and eventually yeah. it would be kind of like the Donkey Kong record where no one cares. Billy, but it's like uh, yeah. you, you just watch one day and like maybe he starts the first six frames with strikes. It's like fuck, he was close. Like let's go. Oh, Gus so, wants to weigh in. This is, is it just it's. I'm telling you, it's near impossible. I'm telling you, that's breaking, fine. Breaking three hundred. The, the, the guy who is the high, the guy who has the highest candlepin score of all time. Two seventy nine. Seven straight strikes. So yeah. he's three strikes away from a perfect fucking game. Well, my it eight year happen. old had twelve strikes in a row. That's true. My eight. That was your. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my eight year old. Sweep over for something. It's his kid. <laughs> Max <laughs> Kubiak. Yeah. yeah when he's put respect on his fucking name. F fifteen. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> all right. So we're back Tuesday with. Peltier and Mike. <laughs> and boy, fingers crossed, Pat Ford's going to be here at the end of the week. John from Scranton. Jay and John from Scranton. Maybe. John from Scranton's a hard maybe. If everything, if everything works out, maybe we get John from Scranton back in the studio. With any luck. Who, by the way, had the, I will say did a better job than these guys had that clip of that funny phone call the other day. Where the uh, guy was like breathing heavy on the... Yeah. Uh, oh, yes. What? No, yeah, and John's already confirmed. It's up to you if you want him in. Sure, why not? Okay. Just to be wow. clear. Confirmed. <laughs> a lot of pressure on me there. Yeah. I have a feeling we'll be talking to Trung Seltzer. <laughs> so soon. I guess phone calls from the callers will be calling us Trung There might Seltzer. be a couple of Trung Seltzer. I have a few Trung <laughs> followers on Twitter. There's already a couple of parody accounts. Yeah. Good. yeah. So that the was one good. guy puts up his lunch every day. Does he really? Yes, <laughs> Trung. <laughs> it's Jesus fucking Christ. funny. Fucking people are sick. Uh, all right, we'll talk to you Tuesday. Goodbye. Thank you.